Okay, uh, it's a little after six, we're going to start the August 19th uh, Hyde Park Board meeting. Sue's going to be a little late, so I'm going to start the meeting for her. And first of all, uh, as always, number one is welcome uh, everybody that's here and uh, any changes to the agenda. And if anybody's got anything they want to bring up that's not on the agenda, this is time to do so. I've got one thing that happened last week, which I think I'd love to know on Susan's uh, agenda there. So just, public comment. Yeah, just that note. So the, under public comment, the regional planning office is looking for uh, a point of contact from Hyde Park for a broadband fiber internet committee because they're trying to get one person from every town. So I sent the email out to our fiber committee. Two people said they start going to the regional meetings, mm -hmm. Jack Wool and Michael Rooney. Okay. So I guess my recommendation is we sort of like, okay, you guys can be our point of contact, but pick one of they only want one person but yeah. to go to this first meeting next week to have both of them go and then they can decide who they want to be point of contact for the project, which is a, I think it's a 12 or 18 month study for the Memorial County, how to extend fiber and high speed internet. Okay. So they were going to try to come, but they're, they're so last minute they couldn't guarantee they'd be here, but they both gave me emails saying they're interested. Okay. I'll give that to you. So I'll just put their names as the interested parties yeah. that came forward and they can report back after that first meeting. Okay, that's it. Okay, anybody here got anything that's not on the agenda? Okay. Number two, Hyde Park Energy Committee, Climate Solution Resolution. Is that be you? Yes, that would be me. Okay. He is here from the Energy Committee. We were hoping to have a vote on this because we put in some petitions back in the June meeting and we wanted to urge the select board to vote for the climate solutions resolution which um, calls for energy efficiency um, goals of 90% by 2030 rather than 50% or 90% by 2050. And, um, and we kind of stand in unison with other energy committees in the area and a lot of other groups that are interested in pushing that um, goal ahead a little bit because of what we're facing with climate change. And energy efficiency is, is the way to go. So it's really just a goal and you know there's there's nothing in place yet. But we want to urge the state to put something into place to act a little bit more um, proactively. Okay? But you're looking at this at Hyde Park level, not Hyde state Park. level. Well, Hyde what's, Park level. What's mm -hmm. happened is other towns have um, passed similar resolutions. Am I right on that? We do. We have a list of other towns that have passed it, and there's um, 50 or 60, I think. You're saying you want 90% of Hyde Park residents on what? No, we're urging the state to achieve a goal. They've already voted in the state to achieve a goal of 90% renewables by 2050. And we'd like them to up it to by 2030. And just, you know, do more okay. to get set these goals and put some plans in place. So, so we're asking you as a select board to make that recommendation to the state of Vermont. Okay, I'm, I'm just trying to back her down how it's going to affect the taxpayers of Hyde Park. How it's going to affect the yes. taxpayers? Well, I, I really don't know how it will affect taxpayers. They will probably pay less because we're paying about 67, uh, we're paying about 20, let me get the official number here. We're paying $2.3 billion on petroleum and natural gas um, from out-of-state sources. So if we have our own renewable sources, we're going to cut down a lot of that, that, those funds that are going toward oil and gas. Okay, so this is not on individual houses. You, you don't want individual it's houses. Individual. It's an overall goal. It's okay. Goal. Not a requirement for any individual to do something. Okay, that's what I was getting And all these other towns have recommended by writing a letter from their select board asking the state 
to please adopt this resolution to achieve 90% renewables by 2030 and 2050. So, for example, if the um, the state adopts it at the state level, then the state may do something like make more low interest loans available to utilities like Hyde Park Electric to be able to add more facilities like the Waterhouse Project. Um, the Waterhouse Project, uh, in a one project, created 13% of the town's, um, the whole, well, at least all Hyde Park Electric users, um, as an alternative energy. Uh, we work closely with Carol Robertson, and in discussions with her, she said that there's no, nothing in theory or even physical um, uh, infrastructure that would prohibit the town from having 100% of its energy generated renewably. She said that basically the biggest limiting factor right now is the availability of uh, long-term low interest loan or no interest loans really to be able to fund those kinds of projects. So the only way the town could do it now would be like for the utility to go to a, a bank or some bond agency and get a bond issue to do that and that would have costs associated. Um, whereas if the state can uh, adopt some more uh, um, aggressive goal and the state may be able to obtain a better low or no interest funding for local utilities like ours to be able to achieve those kinds of goals sooner. I see. Now, we can't vote on that tonight, right, Ron, because it wasn't warned. Uh, well, it's, you can, the board has a couple options. So you can have a, a vote yourselves to say, we want to represent Hyde Park and we want this resolution to go forward. The resolution was submitted for more discussion tonight because you got it and then I think you guys deferred it by a month or whatever. So mm -hmm. yeah. this is the first time the board's had a conversation about what the impacts are. The other option, which was what a lot of the other towns did, was they put it on the ballot for town meeting day. And that's where a lot of the votes came out in March. And they did that two or three years in a row now, I think, or something. Yes. Yeah. It, it's not a first time resolution, right. it just it keeps going. The other one is to hold a special election and ask voters ahead of town meeting day. Okay. So you can go, and you can do any of those three. You can do it on your own, you can have a special meeting, or you can have. We're not forced to do anything, which is what a petition with the 5% signatures would do. Then you'd have to call a special meeting and, and vote on it. Okay. Uh, but that didn't happen because there wasn't enough signatures. So you have these other options. Or you could do nothing and say, you know, right now we're going to think about it more. Or we're going to put it on a future agenda. Or we're going to put on a special you know, town meeting day discussion. I don't, you know, you have, because there's no petition that forces you to do anything, you can do pretty much anything at this point. But they, they're looking for an answer as well as a, well, a positive vote. <laughs> that would be an answer. But We're here to discuss with you and try to answer your questions and encourage the board. Put it on the ballot. Not you. No. you here. That'd be you. Yep. You think? Let the people. I think the consensus of the board is to put it on the ballot for uh, the March Hill meeting. And uh, okay. that way, if anybody's got any pros or cons, they can attend town meeting and, and bring it up. And between now and then, we can continue to submit um, signatures? Uh, not necessary. Not necessary. Okay. January is the next time you want to check in with the board to make sure it's moving on the warning. Oh, okay. Right. That's when the warning is, you don't want to wait till February right. okay. and say it's on the warning. You want to make sure you get that done in early January to meet with the board again. And so signatures are required once it's warned? No, there's no signatures required, only if you want to force an election. Okay. And that, that's not happening right now, so. Okay. Keep. Well, thank you for your work. Anyways. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. A town finance director discussion on financial report to the board and recent improvements. Hi. Hi. So, I have given you guys the memo. I'm not sure if you guys reviewed it and have any questions to start off with. Uh, okay, I haven't read it. Could you go over it? Absolutely. Please. So, to start, the past um, two 
two and a half to three months, I have been working with um, two different businesses, entities, um, trying to get our financials more accurate and better presentable to anybody looking for any financial questions. Um, the first one that we started working with is Stern Services. Um, Chip used to work with Nimrick as well as Wendy. Um, he has also been a town manager in, I can't remember, I think it was Westminster. Yeah, I think it was Westminster, so he has a lot of budgeting experience and ways to help clarify budgets to taxpayers or select for it. Um, in reviewing the documents, we discovered that um, things have not been reported accurately in financials, only due to the fact that we were not using our accounting system, which is Nimric, to the best of its abilities. Um, we used it as the basics, in a way, um, and we used journal entries to adjust or accrue things rather than letting the system do it the way that it was designed to be used. Um, so we have since then started using the general ledger connecting to tax administration so that everything um, flows in and out accurately instead of having journal entries could potentially be missed or any of that such. Nature. So, <clears throat> in doing that, we also um, reviewed the budget that was presented in the town court in March and decided to create a more consistent, transparent way of reporting financials so that it matched the way that it was presented to voters accounting. Um, so if you look at the comparative budget report that I'll give it out, there is on page two a line item called Me use too. of fund balance. In prior years, we left it at the end of the report as a negative showing that we had accounted for that money that was budgeted for at town meeting, but instead now it's used as a line item to help show that all the money that was budgeted at town meeting presented to the voters um, is all accounted for. So you'll see on um, this 10-6 on page 2, it's highlighted. It's a comparative budget report. Okay. So, Susan, we're in uh, you just handed it up. I just handed it up. In this pile? Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, that's yours. This one. You. She handed one to Oh. Page two. 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 That says one to twenty six. It probably would turn. I guess I can't follow. Page two. Page two. Put the page over. Should be highlighted section. Okay. Okay. Is that comparative budget report? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not the budget staff. Yeah. Okay. Now show me something highlighted. Yeah. The two reports are about the same. Oh, okay. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I just found it too. I okay. Thank you. Glad you. Okay. Now we're together. Okay. Wow. So in order to show at the bottom of our financials overall that any dollar amount that we've budgeted for, we accounted for. So it's just keeping things consistent and transparent to what we gave to voters that they approved at town meeting. Um, another thing that we had discovered is that in our financials with processing accounts payable monthly, the time in between each meeting, our financials are not presented accurately to anybody looking for a budget on any line item. So if Mark French was to call and ask what a salt budget is, and we haven't processed AP, and it's going to be another two weeks, 
the financials aren't in order from what they well, should they, be. I'd say they're in order. They aren't timely. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. In order. So there's a lot of time from right. the previous select board meeting until the next one, which could be two to three weeks, depending. So we have come up with an idea, and this was from Chip, who said that you know, with our with the board wanting accurate financials to potentially do AP each week instead of one big run at the Eight end months. of each month or <coughs> any month, consider it. Um, and in doing that, that will present the, the financials to anybody looking for their, where they're at in their budget accurately. So the reports we get will be live. Correct. More or less. Instead of lapsing time. Right. Yeah. Yes. Compared to uh, it hasn't been now. If you think about it, your budget, the status reports, your comparative budgets are only accurate literally the minute she finishes AP right. on town meeting, or, I'm sorry, on select board meeting day, yeah. and then prints it. Yeah. Four days later, she's got all this stuff in the mail that needs to be processed, but won't be processed as in current processes until the next select board meeting four weeks later. So if Mark French comes in on June 1st and says, what's what I have left in my XYZ budget, she's got to go look in her detail, then she's got to go pull a folder, <coughs> and go through invoices. As Chip presented it, we're paying invoices weekly. So if we had to look into a folder, we're looking at a quarter of the invoices that may take us five minutes instead of two hours right okay. yeah now in order to do that i would still present any invoices that were paid obviously weekly like we do now yeah. um and i encourage anybody who has questions about where anybody is at to stop in and take a look at invoices to be paid whenever you want to um the only thing that would need from you is a vote to appoint one of the select board members um, authorized to sign those weekly warrants. We've been doing it. So, so, so. I'm just doing monthly right. and I'm doing weekly instead. It's well, sort of like that. So the way that the vote was taken in the past, um, it was taken to sign like the weekly payrolls and any um, invoices that I think were related or about to incur some sort of finance charge because of the timing of the once a month meeting and we were trying to avoid that i think a, the motion should be presented in such a way that you're allowing the finance director <coughs> to pay invoices on a weekly basis and allowing and all invoices not just payroll but paying all invoices and then allowing Susan to review those and sign them. Uh, is that reversed? Is that we need the select board chair authorized to sign invoices when ready to, for review, and then if she signs the warrant, then the finance director pays the bills. Right. Yes. You said it reversed though. That's why I just make sure it's the yeah. select oh, board. Yes. Right. She's got to get it ready first. Right. Right, you've got to get them ready the and then now do it. Right, right. Correct. right. And you can always refuse to, you know, that's the other option. She only has the authority, but she doesn't have to. But she have to sign it or something. Something looks yeah. a little funny, she doesn't yeah. have later on that yeah. one. Yeah, 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 just get more information and it can be done the next week or if there are serious questions, but. Wait for a board meeting. <laughs> and on the flip side of that, the way that we've been doing it with the PDF package that we've started in the past like month or two, however long it's been. Um, for me to do that and see the board, the 20 to 30 minutes of each select board meeting compared to how it was when there was multiple packets for each department. Um, in order to save yourself the 20 to 30 minutes, you're paying me eight, a whole day of eight hours to process those, scan them in, and then email them to you guys. Because the packets are so large, 
it literally, you can see, like, it's a good almost 200 pages of me scanning. So in order That's to why I had you that 20 minutes. <laughs> I so, found out so, it was eight hours of time. So the good idea wasn't such a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. And we tried it to see and if it worked, and it was nice. And how would you know? So, so right. I'd say on a special occasion, let's say if you're on vacation somewhere, you could review, because it's going to be weekly now. Right. You're, yeah. you're going to be more chances you're not going to be available as readily. Yeah, that's a great thing about me. No, <laughs> we don't go anyplace. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you want to share. Somebody that doesn't go anywhere. And I could still but, email but that's right. Two so, weekly. No, it's not going to take me a whole eight hours well, to do 200 You didn't try it, you wouldn't have known. Right. 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 Well, but, yeah. but it's also, you know, because, like, she's sending everything. You know, and there are lots of things weekly and monthly that are, you know, that we. You know the insurance and a lot you know that you don't look at so maybe what we want to do is say anything over and do a certain yeah. amount every week she could send that to us and there you might have five or six a week to look at as opposed to all of the you know, $2 you know the whole, 51 cent of napa i don't i mean and you guys are absolutely more than right you know, allowed to look at those it's just yeah and they're here but it's time. but it's like wow. taking the time to copy it and stuff so we should time come up money with what size yeah exactly it's double the That's, time she, 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 yeah, I she think came in to it talk really to me it. and she said it takes eight hours and I said don't do it this week <laughs> <laughs> okay so we um, tried it and if this doesn't work we can try something else sure. but I'm just thinking in transparency Keeping the financials more accurate and up to date rather than time lapse every four weeks. Sounds like a good idea to me. Did you talk about a dollar number? Or? No, do we want to have still have some cent? And we can absolutely try a weekly thing. So that you, and I can still PDF those to you. It may take me 10 minutes instead of eight hours for the whole packet. So there is only going to be t maybe 10 invoices a week or however much. Right, but I think there a lot, are. again, it's a lot of the things that are just sort of regular monthly Correct. things Logical. that are the same. Oh, yeah, oh, you know, yeah. Yes. a week after week, you know, that are the same. We don't, there's no need to spend the time to send those to us. We can see them, Absolutely. you know, when, when we're here. Right. Um, and I or, and, and, and again, we could be looking at it if there's, if for some reason some bill were doubled some month, you know, to pull that out and just do a little explanation and say, here's why this is, you know, this high this month that isn't mm -hmm. normal, that, you know. Um, again, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure we can find better things for her to do with her time than that. And before you guys even get it, the department head has reviewed it. Right. It then comes to me. It's then reviewed by Ron and then the town treasurer, Kim. And then it goes to you for review and then comes back to me for the checks to be sent out and signed when Kim gets the approval from you guys. So there's multiple people involved in the review process prior. You obviously have the overall yes or no, but that's just also us. Well, I've been talking about in just a few years I've been on the board. There's really, maybe we aren't happy with the money that we have to spend all the time. That's a different conversation as opposed to. There's, I can only ever remember one that we pulled and said, wait a minute, what was this? And it was the way it had come through on the invoice, and it was right. like, Six hundred dollars for the light, a right? Light. <laughs> yeah, a strobe light, and we all went, "Wait a minute!" Yeah. You know, and and again, even if um, if we okayed it and they sent the check, we're still going to look at it. Well, we're still going we're still going to look at it. If we have a question, just because we sent the check doesn't mean that oh no, there's no recourse. <laughs> yeah. You know, so it it's um, but again, I think we've got. If, having just had the Democratic Party embezzled for about eighteen thousand, you just realize. You know, if you don't set up good systems, but this is, we've got so many people, you know, looking at things at so many steps along the way that I, I think we've got a really good yeah, system I think in place. Would, from, a, from a processing point of view, Allison will see the invoices and know which ones are not, not of interest almost, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. But if you say don't, unless you really think we should see something because one of us will see something that maybe is 299 if you said the 300 limit yeah you right, should see. we would bring those up and say right. put that in the pdf yeah. i think from a board perspective just processing wise if you you need to look at every invoice as part of your job but if we set this weekly process that only sends the more interesting ones to the to Susan for signature, but all the board, 
so that you're getting the same thing that Susan gets in email. Right. Susan might see the $200 and the $50 and the $10 one when she comes in, but the whole board sees the ones that are over that threshold number so that they can call Susan and say, don't sign this one, there's a problem or something mm -hmm. like that. At least on a weekly basis, there's the board has their own perspective. We have a process perspective, but the board may have a, a field perspective, so to speak, or something that we don't know about. But I think that would reduce your time, but keep the board in the loop with, on a weekly basis with those call major invoices, if you want to set a dollar amount. I really haven't seen much of interest over like 500, but maybe 300 is a break point, minus the electric bills, which seem to pop up above 300 for some reason. But you have a, when you send out those, just because I haven't seen this, do you have like a, the spreadsheet that goes out at the beginning that itemizes each one and what it is? It's a cover sheet. Yeah. A cover yeah. sheet yeah. with it. Yeah. And does it compare that to the previous month? So if you're paying for no. whatever bit, the electric bill, you like, oh, hey, how come last month it was this and then this month it was this? Then they might want to go look at the detail of well, the invoice and well, say, well, "Why like back yeah. to major? You might have it twenty-eight days one month. <laughs> right. It might be thirty-four days next month." But I mean, month. I'm not just talking about the electric bill. Right. It could be it could be any any right. any right. bill that's out there. Even I mean, because somebody could have embezzled going to Napa and buy three extra parts for their own car <laughs> while they're there picking up something. Right. I'm not saying they do that. Right. But I'm saying that that can happen. Right, and that so was my first small case when we were looking at them. It's, I could look at it, and matter of fact, I know a yeah. bunch of cases that I said, wait a minute, that's way too much money for that yeah. thing that they bought, and, and they shopped locally and bought it cheaper. Yeah. So. Right, right, and yeah. that, <clears throat> yes. so yeah, that, 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 has, that has to do with being aware of what things cost locally as opposed to, yeah. you know, and anything that's particularly different, again, the the way you go from the department to write everybody looking at it first. There are enough people looking at it to go, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, because it, it was, uh, again, the strobe light thing, as soon yeah. as I mentioned it, they all knew exactly what it was. Yeah. <laughs> they said, no, no, that was a whole this, that, and the other. I said, okay, that's where, we, you know, where it just on the invoice had just come through the strobe light. So people are definitely, you know, staff is yeah. definitely paying attention to it. And if yeah. there's something weird and, you know, so if people yeah. comfortable with that, I guess we'd need a motion. To the amount three hundred dollar. Yeah. What What did the, uh, you know, like five, the insurance five, and all those sorts of things. Five hundred. Five. I'd say five. five hundred. Okay. What? <clears throat> and and if, again, that's obviously at yes. your discretion. by looking mm -hmm. at it, to, you know, if it's well, four seventy five. Yeah. yeah. And if it's yeah. if it's just something that's different or is unusual or we don't usually see. That's your. That's that's, that's the PDF. Yeah. Number. <laughs> For yeah, lack right. of a better word. Yeah, then that's right. Susan will have to go with a fine tooth comb yeah. over everything before right. she signs anything. Mm -hmm. That that would be that's what the vote's about. Yeah. Looking at everything before the finance people process the rest of it. And then the other question that I had was just if you uh, by chance don't need it's not a must do weekly it's a up to weekly. So if you had a really light week with one invoice that was like two hundred dollars that could Absolutely. be paid. Then you could push it to the next week. I'm just thinking we're getting into winter and car bill, the salt and everything, that gets very time consuming. Okay. So I'm just trying to be proactive in that respect. Craft a motion. Yeah. Do you, do you have a, do you have, a, have you crafted one? You're I, good at that. I really haven't. Kim started to, but it was like uh, authorized the chair of the select board to review. Uh, invoices for payment up to weekly with five hundred dollars or more invoices PDF to the full board. Something before you back on them. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Sounds reasonable. Okay, so we want to make a motion and second it. I'll make a motion. Second it. Any more discussion? If. Uh, We'll figure it out. What's the what's the backup plan if if something happens? We'll come back. We'll come back. If something well, happens, we'll figure chair, it out. You know, the, uh, the vice chair would be uh, not have the whole board, but the chair, vice chair. And right. if you don't, you're, you're back to the old schedule. Right. Yeah, ago. right. If three yeah. weeks in a row don't work, you you'll be on yeah, the monthly schedule. That's right. the backup backup plan. Yeah. The back. Okay. Okay. We can adjust as we need to. Right. 
well, it's just like this. We learned that was a good idea that didn't work. <laughs> oh, okay. I think, no, I think it's a good idea. I think it's just be tweaked. So yeah, the, yeah, the, board, right. the board is multiple times that they want to appreciate yeah, they like the, the time of the weekend to look at invoices in their inbox. Yeah. Absolutely. So that solved that problem. The efficiency part is we get all sorts of different invoices. Some are stapled, some are clipped, some yeah. are folded, some. Yes. And then by the time you're trying to run that through the machine right. without you jamming it up. Times. It's really fun. <laughs> if they all came on one eight and a half by 11 and you zip them through the scanner. You're right, that would be. She could do a thousand of those in 20 minutes, but they're not, they don't come like that. They're, yeah. they're a mismatch. Okay, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay, we're good. Okay. It's up to you now. That's all my fault. And you're on number four. Yeah. Um, okay. We didn't have that. You good? You guys need anything else? I have some. Thank you. Thank very you. Much. Thank you very Thank much. You. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, fast squad. Or fraud. Table wouldn't miss him if he was here. I, yeah, I, I, can, I can speak for Brad just a little bit because I met with him last week. Okay. So when Brad was purchasing equipment for the fast squad, there was a stacking of pieces that he needed. And in his mind, he needed certain things. There's repair for pagers, there's new pagers. And he bought enough to get where he needed to be on his fast squad equipment. But the problem was that he had stacked them a little too high in FY19. So we had over expenditure issues. So we went back and we did the reports and, and Brad was basically left last week saying he would think about what the resolution to that over expenditure was. So that money that he spent came out of the MSN fund balance last year. How, how much are we overspent? Two months. Okay. And that's almost equal to what the, it's almost the yearly current plan. year budget is. Right. So that's why I said, do you have more equipment that you need to buy, or can you refund the unassigned fund balance and not spend that money this year because you pre-bought it basically? I mean, he was pretty confident that that was a, that was a resolution that the board could consider, other than just letting twenty twenty alone and letting treat that as its own new budget and. Allowing the use of the other side, even though he didn't ask for permission ahead of time. So, from a from a needs basis, I got the impression from Brad that he didn't need a whole bunch of that budgeted money for this year because he fronted it last year, pre-purchased. If you want to call it that, unfunded pre-purchase budget. So we didn't get into the details of exactly what it was, what the, what the need was that was met, and all those things. That's what he was invited in to talk about. As far as the money goes, there is a use of the unassigned fund balance here. FY19. So what we have is a lot of equipment, no staff. <laughs> That's what he was supposed to come in and talk about because there was a, there was a question <laughs> raised with the. Oh, maybe we better table it the next month. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, the, the only hint of an explanation that I got from Brad last week was that they have pagers, you know, pager this big, and then they have radios. And when you, when they're driving around and sort of on patrol, they can use the radio. When they're sort of on call. They leave the radio in the, in the truck or the vehicle while they do their the normal, bus you know, normal business life. So they can just slide the pager in the pocket or something. It's not this big cumbersome thing they have to take into grocery shopping or whatever. So that was the that was the little bit of an explanation I got was that the pagers weren't actually available. They had to save these pages. So and that he was good with the equipment. So there was no more equipment needs. That he was playing on this. How many calls was there? 104? 104. 104, and we responded to 47. In the month of June? No, that was January through May. Yeah, but what's the deal with the month of June? Oh, they, there was no certain. They didn't work in June. They didn't write. 
Now he, he needs to come in and explain what's going on. Yeah, I think it's. Make a motion but, to table it. But, I, but I, I want to make sure that they aren't spending any money between now and then, too. Okay. <laughs> right? Because it's like, oh, okay, let's not spend any more money right now. Yep. Okay. We need to come in next on that. Do, do we need to vote on oh, the table? It? I guess we do. Right. Um, all in favor of tabling the motion until next week and until next week. Yes, yeah, I'm in the weekly now. To next month and letting him know that they have no authority to spend any money until this gets sorted out. So moved. Second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Nope. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. North Hyde Park and Eden Fire Department. Let's see. Gentlemen, <laughs> you see in your paperwork, uh, did you send out the... Uh, yeah, this... The, yes. Yeah. Uh, I want to say oh. job descriptions. Job descriptions. Whoop. Yeah, there's the two things. There's the yeah. MOA yeah. and there's job description. Where is that? No, yeah, I got to make this one. I know. Wrong <laughs> number. I know if that does help. Wait, I just saw that. Okay. By itself, this 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 video. Yeah, the job descriptions aren't in the package. <laughs> They all 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 yeah, they were. No, no, it's all attached to the, okay. yeah, the numbered pages. Okay, there's some. Okay, here it is. I'll share it with you. Yeah. Okay. Jeep sent it to me on my computer. So right. I've seen it. So, what's up? What do we need to do? So, the, the proposal is if you agree that. The memorandum of, of uh, understanding between North Hyde Park Fire Department, select boards of Eden, and Hyde Park Fire District number one, which is the water company that owns the property, write down what we've been doing, I guess, is what that's about. So you write down exactly what the roles right. are of the different people, the 50% share on capital equipment, what happens when something gets sold goes back to the two towns at 50 to 50 to decide what the select boards want to do. Um, the fire department has to keep good records and maintenance and everything in good work in order. The fire district owns the building, but you know they'll get it back if there's a dissolution of the fire department. So I think it's, I don't think there's anything new that I can think of that's in the draft. So the Eden select board town attorney wanted to get it written down and then pass it between both boards. Yep. And that's the final draft that you have in your packet. On the job descriptions, the proposal is that the fire department will draft those, revise those, adopt them, and then provide them to the select board for review, but not necessarily amendment or approval, because I, I think the idea is that they know that department better and what the job descriptions are, and if the chief and all the officers approve the job description, and the select board has a chance to review it for any major issues, then they can adopt the job description and provide us with a copy. A copy of it. Yeah. If you objected to anything in there, then we could have a discussion between the fire department and the select board, but chief's been good about working with me and the town attorney to figure that all out, and I don't think there's any issues with that with that kind of a process so that officers know just like with the prior process with the bylaws that they go through a process and they get it in a draft that they like and they send it to the board and the board says great or the board says whoa we got to look at that more before you um, before you start to use those so those are the two things the MOA is hopefully if you you don't have to act on it tonight I asked uh, the Eden select board uh, administrative assistant if the Eden select board any questions from the last Tuesday's meeting that they met and she didn't get back to me so I really want to hear if Eden select board is good with this draft mm -hmm. and then I can relay what you all think about the draft 
even. And then if and fire district one is here, Roger. Right. And uh, and the fire department will have to. I don't like I said. I don't think there's anything new in there. It's just writing it down. And if there's any changes, you amend the MOA. Yeah, that's kind of how it would work. Right. Roger, does this make sense to you? Yeah, a lot of it does. Yeah. Yes, I just would ask a question. Have we seen that yet? Yeah. I don't know. Has John seen that copy? Uh, I'm not sure John John was out of the meeting tonight. He didn't have any clue about this. Yeah, and so we're trying to get both sides. I haven't seen anything that you guys are flopping around the table up there. Which kind of leads me to wonder why I haven't. Yeah, so this, the town attorney from Eden had some. The town attorney from Eden had changes that we're trying to make sure is a final draft. And fire district one, North High Park fire, oh, and the select boards will look at something that could be approved. But you, you guys are on the list for looking at along with the fire district one. So I'm not sure how to hear it because he didn't seem to have a clue what the meeting was about. Because I only heard about it at three o'clock this afternoon that we were on the agenda for the meeting, but none of us were notified. And uh, I. I don't know if John's on your email list to get this stuff. I know I'm not, but at 3 o'clock, we find out you've got our name on your agenda. We don't know about yeah, it. Yeah, no, it's it's uh, I don't think it's, a, I, I'm hoping that tonight it's a final draft, and then the, you guys can look at it for another, a final draft in the sense that it's just put together so that we need comments from all the parties. So if our board is, yeah, this is I don't a, even know if Eden's are okay with it. This is an the, us approving anything tonight except that we're seeing the draft to well, say, okay, this, is got, this has got yeah. the stuff that we're interested in yeah. and we think needs to be there. Now that we have as select boards what we think needs to be in there, then we can give it to you folks and you can go, okay, here's, uh, there's this big thing you missed or this doesn't make any sense. Now, the town of Eden would ask for this. Right. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it's all, it's all good. It's just going to take a little while to go back and forth, I think. It, yeah, I was just thinking that's like a four month cycle of select boards <laughs> right there. Probably to do that. Well, like, it'd, be, it'd be really <laughs> unusual for two select boards to have a good draft the first time. Oh, no, actually, that's what I'm saying. But it's got to go back and if forth. It does, if it does work that way, then I think the next meeting we'll hear comments from Eden Select Board, North Hyde Park Fire. You don't, if you have a meeting with your. Again. So you would take it to a meeting and say, here's a preliminary draft approved by both boards. Well, this whole packet right here. No, that's job. that's just job description. Oh, okay. The separate document is. What is a separate? I don't know what page that is. Dave, what's? Ten. What's ten. Ten. There's two pages. Is it nine and ten? Yes, I didn't see that. <laughs> nine and ten. Nine and ten. So if you could bring nine. And it's ten in this package, Raj. It's in this package. Yeah. You, okay. He's getting it. Nine and ten. I didn't notice it. Oh, okay. So that's what you want. I looked at it and said, well, well the lawyer wrote that. <laughs> yeah, so that's what John needs to. Yeah, John's got to bring that in right. now. But, so uh, what I'm hearing is that there's no changes to the draft that you all can see that we need to pass along to Eden or the other two. Did you find it yet, bro, uh, Roger? Nine and ten? Page nine and ten? You're in, in your packet. Okay. You're in the packet. Keep now go to nine and ten. Okay. There you go. So we want I can tell who read their packets. <laughs> so we want this for October meeting? Uh, well, you got to meet you, September. I, no, I, I don't want to meet again unless North Knight Park Fire and the Water District have comments. Oh, right? okay, right. Yeah, so, and once, once you've looked at it, so yeah, then so just take, take let Ron know, you, right. Yeah, take as long as you need, and then we'll have a meeting back with all comments, hopefully, at next meeting. I mean, at a select board meeting. Right. But if you can't meet until October, then get back to us. Oh, no, I, we can get us back to us in November. It's not a burning fire type issue, so to speak. I got to have a meeting before I get to the so. Yeah, I think, well, <laughs> be, being, being the new per, newest person in the group, reading it, it sounded to me as though it's all the things that we talk about and how they interact already and what we do. I mean, it's, and we just went through the piece of equipment and how do you... I don't think it's nothing, nothing different than it was. Yeah, no, exactly. It's just, it's the getting it written down. Right. And, this, uh, and yeah. this thing that we all sign is definitely written by a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> but I, you know, so, so again, Eden just wanted to have everything written down, which we are totally supportive of, because then 
you get turnover in people, whether it's the fire department, select boards, whatever. People, oh yeah, here's what we do, and here's a piece of equipment that we're, yeah. we need to buy this, and here's this old piece of equipment, what do we do with it, or, you know. So, mm -hmm. so I, th I think where we are is the Hyde Park Select Board agrees on the draft. We don't see it. Okay. Seems I just want to make, make sure Eden gets the same. Right, right. Make makes perfect sense. And then once the Eden Select Board agrees on the draft, we'll send it out to you folks and get back to us whenever you're ready to get back to us with any comments or changes or anything that you that you need. Yeah. And, Brent, do you uh, know Carol, the Eden office? Yeah, she's new. She's the one that gave me the, that I asked last week if she had comments from her board meeting last Tuesday night and I didn't hear anything. Otherwise, we'd have those tonight. I can call her on the way home. Yeah, just call her and see if she's good. Well, it's, it's your information at this point because we don't meet for a month, so right. And then Roger's going to, do you have, when do you think you can meet with a district one? Maybe next week. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. So write something up from district one, and then if you, are you guys having a meeting with the fire department in the next month or so? Yeah. All right. That we, works. We, we haven't had it for years, so it's, you know, as we chug along with the speed of town government, we'll get there. Okay. Well, the fire department, we're, we're going to vote on the Ed's request for stud things. And oh, you, you could vote. The working plan that I had in my head was that they'll be here next, in a month or two, to talk about budget, because it's a budget impact. For 2021. Okay. So if you want to go ahead and approve it right now, I would be happy. But I don't know if the board did you see? Did you see in your paperwork last month we got it? Ed had a suggestion there for stipend for chief, assistant chief, lieutenant, captain. This right here. This is handed out. In the file. Oh, All right. I remember. That's a one page. There you go. You get this Ed? The changes you make. So, yeah, I was loose in the packets time. In that first column, it, it is an annual statement, one time thing, like the set board pay. Uh, whatever. Right. Yeah, I'd like to copy that. And the second, right. the, 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 the same, second is the, 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 the rate of. Jeez. Hourly rate for firefighter, you know, tending a fire is going to be. And, and the reason they started that 1078 up through because that's what minimum wage is going to be after January 1st, and this is when this thing starts over. Yep. So that, that, that part is pretty near no brainer right there. Right. The only thing we get discussed is do we want to give them an annual stipend? And I think Ron figured it out. I've got 2200 a year for the month through. Now, having a meeting with Ed and Ron a couple of weeks ago upstairs, the old saying, uh, you don't know what you don't know, is I didn't realize how much extra work it was after fire. Did you have to report to the state certain things and accidents, you have to do certain things and stuff. And this is the same argument that we had with the town boys. If they come in and remove the tree, they're going to get so many hours pay. So I have, I don't see any problem at all paying those people stipend for what time do they put in. I don't either. And so, I was, actually, I have to admit I was surprised that we yeah. didn't already give folks like that a stipend. So no, they, they, they do work hard. I didn't realize that they had to do that much paperwork until uh, we had to yep. meet them. So, uh, 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 not only is it paperwork, but it's also once they sign that document, they're taking responsibility for whatever report they just gave the state mm -hmm. it's right. under their authority. I mean, that's liability. Yeah. Obviously, the town's carrying insurance on that, but if they report that, you know, this house that burned didn't have a certain chemical in it, mm -hmm. and it comes back that it did, yeah. you know, right. so they got to do a, got to be thorough. And they and they have protection for that. Yep. Oh yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. At the beginning, they have protection yeah. for that. Yeah. Right. 
and they're supposed to be trained for that. Uh, yep, that's what I'm saying. But you're, you're asking, that's a lot. This is very little money for a lot of responsibility. Yeah, no, thank you. Well, I, 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 my personal feeling is I think volunteers kind of going out the window. There's no yep. such thing as a volunteer no more. No. Yeah. Oh, you are. Um, so being the liaison on the fire front, I'm going to make a motion that we accept the annual stipend as. But wait a minute, before you make a motion, I think you ought to think about this. Well, we don't have, I mean, we don't have to do it right now, right? I mean, well, it goes you, into. No, you're. We know we want to do You're going to do this for Hyde Park Fire Department. Now, what about half North Hyde Park Fire Department up there? I mean, what's good for the goose is good for the gander here, guys. And you've got North Lake Park just sitting there and not asking for nothing yet. So think about that. Well, I'll tell you what my feelings be on that is the vote Hyde Park because we get the Hyde Park, we don't have any jurisdiction over the North Hyde Park stuff and stuff and the next stuff. But it'd be my thought <coughs> to get it back to even select board that we would be in favor of paying half if they were kicking the other half. And I would and I would like to table that just to see what they say before we make any motion on this tonight. Right, because Feeden doesn't want to do it then right. we're in an interesting situation. That's right. And I don't think it's fair for one if it ain't going to be for the other. I'll affect it back. Right. And <clears throat> But again, with the conversation it being clear that the select board is in favor of doing the stipends, we just want to see, <coughs> we just want to figure out what North Hyde Park and Eden want to do, because I think that's a... Not North Hyde Park, yeah. Just but you could also Eden lose volunteers that could go from, hey, I'm right. going from North Hyde Park, and right. I'm going to go to Hyde right. Park, right. and they could lose a lot of their staff. So let's... Well, let's no, but it is geared toward they don't have it in there for firefighters, so you wouldn't be able to leave. Yeah, the, the, the junior ones. Teams. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. even firefighters don't have a site and it's only down yeah. to the officers. Right. Yeah. So it would be unlikely that yeah, they would lose a right. firefighter to go to Emmy right. to get a seven hundred and fifty dollars site to become the chief. Yeah. And then besides that, they would have to be voted in. It's not just so. I'm just so on the captain and lieutenant department loses people every year. Yeah. On the yeah. captain yeah. lieutenant has yeah. double. <laughs> you have two, right? Well, I only have one captain. Oh, we, in, our, in our department, it's different. Right. There's two captains, two lieutenants. And we have, so we you'll have, be talking double on that one. Or split it. Well, they're split. At least you can't well, say that. No, I'm just saying. Well, I'm gonna, before you get too well, I don't even know that we're even going to ask for something. This is the first I've seen this. I will talk to John and right. try to clear right. that up for you, but at no point have we even thought about saying yeah. we want X amount of dollars. If I talk to John, and we came up with an idea, I would have talked to Eden with what you're saying. I don't know if it's necessary to have any on hold if this is what he's proposed. If you were to keep in mind that in a year or 10 years, we decided maybe we need to do what Eddie does because I spend as much time maybe half right. that Eddie does at the computer doing reports, <clears throat> maybe something in the future. Not that it's going to happen right now, or if it may not happen in 10 years. I don't think I would put any on hold for what you guys want to talk about, as long as you kept it in your mind that we did it for Eddie. Maybe someday we're going to have to do it for them. But another month or so, Brandon, you're going to not. No, and that's why I'm saying, I just don't want you guys waiting on me to come with an answer because this is the first I've seen of it. I will have to right. run it through John. Well, this will go until the next. And then I have to go through Eden. Is the you guys should yeah. Be yeah. yeah, and you'd have to look at the structure of it, how many exactly. tenants you have and the tenants. I think you guys should focus here with the idea, like Rolly said, in the future this may come up more. Maybe it won't come up more. Right. And, and but as Susan said, did you hear what Susan said? It wouldn't be this one take effect until January. Exactly. Anyway. So you could have an answer by us by January. Yeah. yeah. I, I'll so if we tabled this and, and voted on it in a couple months, it wouldn't be a big deal, right? Sure, because point. it's it would it's perfectly. Because it's not going to be. Yeah. It's it's. Let's see. <clears throat> we just want. Eden to have the opportunity, right. and if you all want to do the same thing, fine. Yeah. 
work it out. Um, and to know that that's what we're going to do, but we don't want to go ahead and do it and then have you, even you know, feel like they have to do it because right, we're making right. them do it. And then your guys are saying, well, how come they got it, we didn't get it? Right. Right. Well, North, we don't pay well, North. What we uh, talked about was that this would take effect starting January. That's yeah. when <coughs> our next pay period starts. Right. And it would be a one time payment, say, the first pay period in December or whatever. Right. Yeah. Which I've agreed with that, but I just don't want to put the car in front of the horse. But we, we don't pay North Hyde parts. You don't. We labor do, rate. We do our own. Yeah. So, so we that's, submit that, to that's you what I mean. The discussion right. So the only thing it would be is I could come up and say next year our budget's going up because, because we want to add these stipends and here's the reasons why. Right. I'd like uh, So what do you want to do? I'd vote, I'd vote Hyde Park saying because we're talking about two different entities all together. We have nothing to do with North Hyde Park's financials as far as paying the... Uh, we do because it goes in one budget. Yeah, but I mean, it's it, it's not paid upstairs. Yeah, but they, they, would, they would spend their budgets like they do now right. to you and, and Eden. If they submit, I would, I would add a line item that would right. never come out as officers. Stipend, 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 and right. then you'd say, well, what is this? When we all get together the first of the year and meet right. and go over it, and we say, well, remember what you did for Eddie? This is what we're looking at, bringing Eden involved, but that would be a whole separate. I still like the plan of talking to North Bay Park and Eden first and then going from there. I, I do. I, I, don't, I don't think it hurts. I mean, yeah, they know. It's not that Ed, Ed can that tell folks that we're going to Eddie, do it. It's Eddie just, get, you know. Eddie would still get it. Yeah. So I would need to wait for it. And, we'll say, and if we haven't, uh, let's see, we're in August. Say if we haven't, um, let's go. We'll vote on it in October. How's yeah. that? Yeah. So that gives September and that gives them two months to get back. And if we don't hear anything, then don't, we'll go ahead with it. Don't count a lot of votes on me for October. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can not well, you can <laughs> you can you can call it in. Okay. Say, All right. <laughs> okay. So we'll uh, we'll we'll table it. What is it even a? No, more and more. No, it's not even. Um, no. So we'll we it is our aspiration to hear back from Northside Park and Eden by October. Yeah. Okay. And, I'll have it and just let us know and that it's clear that our intention is and we're going to do it. We yeah. just don't want to. I, I have one quick question. Sure. Right here. I got your email. Well, that you tape. Get in that way, you get that Yeah. What was that? The tape up there we got. We thought it was going to work for the fire park fire department for school. It's got a bladder in it. What are you going to do with it? Good call, Rick. Right. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, later, later. But I'm seriously right. I'm getting to the point the next lift truck that goes by is going to get stopped and it's going to be in your door yard. Yeah, wait, wait. I need people to back up and tell me what we're talking about. Yeah, right. yeah what are we talking about? <laughs> Remember last year we had the opportunity to pick up a tank, a fuel tank, for the Hyde Park Fire Department. For more storage, because all they got is a two seventy five. Oh, okay, yeah. And I said I can get one through the state because it just was not going to be used. They didn't tell me they had a bladder in it, and plus their building down there, where their existing tank is now, is not big enough even to put it in there. Well, it has to be in a heated garage, um, and they don't have any room with it in the garage to put that. Now, can, can I just no, accept that, that, something here? This is North Hyde Park, right? Hyde Park. Hyde Park. How many times, Ed, how many times have you ran out of fuel in the last 10 years down there? Last year we did not. The prior years, two to three times a year. You run out of fuel? Yep. Looks to me, you better switch oil companies. Well, the only problem is, it's like our firehouse. You don't know how many times they open that big door up. You have 10 calls this month, that door gets open, you need some. It's hard for them to judge it. I, I will say, nothing against canning oil, but Fred's, Fred's did a good job this year. We didn't have any any problems. Where county, for some reason, 
even though we told them. Well, they tell you depend on that degree yeah. uh, thing and stuff. And and stuff. I think if you go to some company and ask them to fill that up every two weeks, they probably would. Now, Jack Horse fills it up whenever you tell them to. They come by every week, whereas Bourne's is a five week cycle. So you right. have to size your tank. But some of them will fill it up every week, every right. two weeks. Yeah. Well, it I, sounds like Fred's did fine last year, right? Yeah, with so, Fred, the name. So wait yeah. a minute. Oh, what, about, what about this it's tank? Called, it just it. sits outside. And it's outside. Want and they want it moved. Yeah. Which I don't mind. So, so if it doesn't get moved soon, you're moving it to his house. Yeah, I'll tell you, if I can, if I can find out who. So what can, what can be happening with this tank? Anything can be happening with this tank or what? Can, it, can a sugar, yeah, a, can a sugar maker that boils with oil use that? No, we have to destroy it. Fire department does not want it, and if town does not want it, we have to destroy it. Well, destroy it. Give it back to the state. All <laughs> oh, <laughs> that isn't going to work. So what was in the tank before it got here? Number two heating oil. Just curious, why do you have to destroy it? Yeah. Pardon me? Why do you have to destroy it? Because we can't sell it or we can't give it away. Oh, well, that's a state thing. Yeah. The state has to be counter it. So, could it go to all metals? That's what I'd have to check with Randy and find out. Well, I'm sure it probably, I mean, they'll take, I mean, they take buses up there, so yeah. they could take a tank with a bladder in it. But the point is that money could come back to the town and it's not like you sold it or you did some private sale. I mean, that's basically your scrap, whatever the price of scrap is. Unless the guys up here can put used motor oil in it. I don't think they can. You can, oh, okay. I don't think they can, and the only reason why is because of the bladder inside. Okay. You never know what's going in the tank. It could have a little bit of antifreeze in there, or it could dissolve the bladder, which doesn't really matter because it's a tank within a tank. You could rip the yeah. bladder out, and you've got the stainless steel tank. Well, so, yeah. I know this, this is why we gave you a sore subject. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> the bladder is what's offset the thickness of the steel. <laughs> <laughs> you think the highway crew would let us put it down? Get it out of Ed's way and put it down here until we just decide what could happen to this, or Gates come get it, or All Metals come get it and get rid of it. Why is it why is it in your way right now? Where is it? On your property? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, <laughs> a loader, a loader can go out and get that and and yeah, you know, right. a half an hour. Yeah. That's what they unloaded it with. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm not and trying to put, put extra back, work on right? anybody, but. Yeah, you just look pretty did. awkward. Uh, you <laughs> said did. <laughs> well, and we may find a creative use for it, right? Maybe. Art, maybe. Well, Art. Rhett's probably, he <laughs> knows his stuff. And you got a chance the to get bladder, I don't know. Right? He knows more about that. But I got a funny feeling he's probably right. So, I don't know. But let's get it out of Ed's way. For that random bucket loader and squish it down to a pancake. I just call it all metals and have come get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah, what I just, yeah. Too. I'd bother the highway crew or something. Right. Well, Tip that thing uh, over on Route 15, have it roll down the hill. Okay. <laughs> one gallon that's in there. <laughs> Rolling down the hill. <laughs> one gallon. Yeah. Right. But I'm just thinking you should talk to them guys and see if there's something they could use it for. You might see. Well, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Make a good barbecue or. I don't know. <laughs> all right. Well, the problem is. Call all this. Okay. All right. Let's call, call all metal. Get out of there. We're going to call all metals. Ed or Ron? Ed should. Ed. Wait a minute. I'm Roger. This is Roger. Ed, you're retired, so it's your game. I got it on the board. No, I'm not going to get out of here. I'm going to get my stipend for heating call. Listen, listen. I'll call tomorrow. Okay, there we go. All right. There we go. All right. There we go. Make sure you have a title. So the next time. Tell them when they get this. They can't get that Roger shelf. <laughs> and it's right out beside the building? Yeah. Yeah, it's right beside that. Okay. The little one. Uh, Consider little it gone. Next to okay. the Okay. All right. Area. Thank you, Roughly. <laughs> it's right there. Uh, Don't do it on my favorite. Probably it's right between the, the building and the. Uh, Cookies, uh, okay. Black hand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. All right. I'll get on. To okay. It. Roger, never mind about the flagpole then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've heard that. Day. All yeah. right. <laughs> That's a request. <laughs> we got the sound one. Have a good night. I get you. 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 I get you.
Thank you for coming, guys. Thank you. Okay, next. This is up your alley. Got the request from Vatsa. Yeah, I just see it on page uh, back oh. 10, I think it was. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I just uh, gave mine a that says request supporting proposal crossing group Vermont 100 ATV use. That must be up there uh, coming off uh, Spruce Lane. Uh, Grimes. Grimes. Uh, excuse me. Uh, Grimes Road to Longmore. It's probably a. Oh. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. From here to the main road. At, yeah, probably not that far. I just surveyed down to the so it's not that far. Yeah, you know, just going to come across. Just, right it, yeah. just want to come off Grand Road right. and out the long road here. Yeah. Right. yeah. And I don't think it put 300, is it 300 yards down through there? I, I'll figure it out right now. <laughs> so. I can get on. So it's a motion for Susan to authorize, or authorize Susan to sign the form for a And then they'll submit an application to V-Trains. Yeah. I authorize Susan to Sign the, the sign for um, permission, uh, permission to the mission. Are they going to have signs up there for this ATV thing? They got them up already. They have a lot of them up. Yeah. yeah. They got them up already. Yeah, they got the little signs up. Mm -hmm. I see yeah. them occasionally. So it's, uh, oh, come on. Um, I'm glad I made the motion. 496 <laughs> feet. 496. Four nine six. Six. Okay. They got to go down the road that far. Yep. How many feet? 496. Five feet. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. We got motion, Roger, motion, second. Yeah. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. Mm. Highway projects. Okay. Center Road. Center Mark will have his. Mark, yeah, Mark called me today. He said, was I supposed to do something today? <laughs> yeah, I talked to him. I said, sure. What, how many colors did you buy? Uh, 28, I think, or something like that. He's, so, he's marked the colors. He's gotten into some of them. He's going to need to have, he's going to need to rent a little excavator with the rubber lags on it to get down to where he can dig out the ends of some of these. He can't, you can't even find them. And, um, and then he's got prices that are coming in for the paving part, changing the culverts. But we need to get, and he's done well. He's marked them all. Yeah, I've noticed that. And uh, he's got some ends that are cleared out and some ends he can't get to, he can't find them. So he is working on it. We'll have an answer probably by the end of next week, and we can. And do we need all those culverts? No. I mean, you get culverts up there. Some of them are. Well, he's a mark take ten feet apart. No, we still gotta have them. Why wouldn't you put in a double bigger culvert and get one? <laughs> right. Well. Uh, I think this is the beginning, though. Finding them is the... I don't know. First, finding them is yes. first. Step right? one, right? find them. Yeah, you have to do the calculations on uh, the steel see. runoff yeah. speed and stuff like that to determine <coughs> But I do know what load is. is. That it was brought up to me while I was talking to the boys. A lot of them are 15-inch culverts. Yep. They've got to be dug up even if they're good. Yeah. And update them culverts. Yeah. Uh, when you're doing the project. 18, right? At least 18, 18, right? 18, 24 would be uh, right. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> so we're kind of thinking about getting started getting close to the surface, and you start to go to concrete culverts to reinforce yeah, it. Most of them are deep. It's not deep enough. So um, now that we're almost found them all, then you start to ask those questions. It kind of snowballs into this whole road policy, MRG sure. compliance, right. Right. watershed impact. You know, it's a 15 automatically is 18 because your minimum is 18 under your new policy but doesn't need to be 24 36. right except they look, at culvert, they look at water speed and how it gouges on the other end the smaller culverts increase the speed sure. of water so sure. each project on their own could be simple or more complicated and you don't really know until you find them and start to look at those watershed well, impacts 
Right. That's why I expect the whole project is going to be fairly good size. That's right. It's not. It's not like oh, we got thirty culverts and it averages three thousand dollars a culvert. Right? Something tells me it's not going to be that simple. So, but one of the I, I just, here's a, a <laughs> totally. Um, if you can't find some of the culverts, then does that mean those culverts aren't working? So what's the point well, of the culvert? Do we really they're need in it? there, but the problem is the um, it hasn't been um, ditches have not been cleaned for many, many, many years. Right. Right. But are the culverts still functioning? Well, well let's say if some of the cul let's say a culvert's not working and the water's still passing through. The problem is instead of the water leaving and draining the ditch, it's actually being absorbed into the soil that's probably in the road bed. That's right. And now okay. you're getting a frost problem gotcha. okay. with the road bed yeah. because the water is going away but you're not yeah, draining. It's going someplace, right? It's going it go? too slow to maybe not thaw and then you're getting some saturation at different levels that it's wicking up into the road. So would that mean that if I make a <clears throat> giant leap, if they all are done properly, the road should be better, there should be less heaving because exactly. the water is being dealt with properly, so it should last longer? It should last longer. Hey, how's that? Like Tom and Road in Elmore, I don't classic know. example. Water, water, water. <laughs> I don't know there's ever a frost <laughs> on that road. I, if you go up to Tom and Road in Elmore, you can see what happens when the ditches aren't done right in the spring. Because yeah. the road is saturated and the water is no place to go down the ditches. So I just want to give you this. this Mark and I were working on this late this afternoon because he's, he's, we're trying to figure out the scope of the project. Yeah. And there's choices to be made. And one of them is looking at those culverts and deciding what to do about them in compliance with your own policies. Yeah. And Mark's capacity, just from time even, to look at 28 sites and confirm it's 24, but not 36, but maybe this other one's eight is, right. I mean, not I've been possible. in the office for weeks trying to figure that out. <clears throat> so there are technologies now that can do office work, basically, taking contours and land use cover types and produce those numbers <coughs> for us. And then there's the common sense look, which we did on a couple sites on Battle Row. So on Battle Row, we had a culvert that was uh, 18 inches, but it was surrounded by a relatively small area of ledge. You know there's not going to be a big watershed impact mm -hmm. to boost that up to 24. So we didn't do any analysis of that one. The problem with Center Road is that the, the watershed crosses the road right? pretty much. There's yeah. a lot of open land, yeah. Yeah. most of it's residential, so it does generate stormwater and there will be calculations that are kind of large watershed area. And then other areas are relatively small, like if there's two culverts, can we combine those into one? Or is there two culverts and one of them can be just shut down and the water will find its way with a new swale to this other one and that other one can be sized up a little bit. Once you determine the sizing, but the, can't cost be, is, the cost is not that much more to go from 18 to 20. Yeah, that's what I was getting at. So yeah. why would you oversize the Yeah. Yeah, you, you would, would always like, do that. If you're not dealing with aquatic animals and like fish. And from here, you can oversize. The only time yeah, you don't you oversize is you get yeah, fish that they have to swim I agree. on average. That's what I'm saying. Look at that. So we need a culvert here and a culvert there. Well, yeah. sometimes you go, you got to look at it, though. you got to look at the saturation of the soil. If you, have, if you can, let's say, water calculation-wise, volume-wise, you can say, oh, this, we can move all this water down there. But if it soaks under the road over here because it takes so long to get okay. there, then you start to turn that. I use uh, HydroCAD for stormwater. You know, software, uh, Ron's seen it, it's real complicated stuff, but you yeah. just put in the soil types, the slope and the grade, and it'll, it'll start to give you like the 100 year rain analysis or the 50 year rain analysis. So we just did this at the firing range in uh, Jericho uh, two years ago. We did a culvert inventory where we did a GPS shot on each end of the culvert, what the grade was, and then we that way anybody can go find the culverts, and you should have seen the culverts. We I mean, we didn't realize we had at the firing range, we had 273 culverts. You know, <laughs> I mean, nobody knew to even clean them out because there was no, you know you're there. no reference right. there. So that, that's exactly what I was talking about, Mark, this afternoon. I was like, Mark, uh, I don't think you want, I don't really want to mess with it. We don't have hydrocrat and else, but it's almost a tabletop exercise once you find those points. Yeah. And then we say, here's the, here's the GPS points, or they're already, they're already GPS. Somebody in the office runs out and 
does their magic with the contour lines and math and all that stuff, and then they say, we have a 50-year storm minimum for Hyde Park by policy. Plug that in with your land use types. Tell us what the impact of. Check it off. Put it in the bid to the contract. Yeah. So a lot of those won't make a big cost difference, though. You're adding four or five thousand dollars, maybe at the most, and not even really that much, on that preliminary testing. But you're complying with all these new rules about stormwater. The contractor is going to have some extra things about stormwater and erosion stone and whatnot that will have to be done on the inlet outlet depending on the slope of the culvert but those are all doable there's there's not a lot of cost variables is what i'm saying we've identified the road yeah. we've identified the culverts right. that you have three options for the surface of the pavement you could mill it down a few inches you can go down 10 inches or you can just do an overlay on the top so we had a mix of those in, in prior product we did milling on east main street that was to smooth up and try to get that crown back, even though we had this with pavement before. Now the overlay should go on nice. On Battle Row, we went down 10 inches on a whole stretch and had them reshape the road and pack it, and then we put four inches on top of that. And that should be a good road for a, a long time because we made sure the drainage was moving under it. Right. No. So all these things work together. They do add up, obviously, because you're asking, you're, you're asking a, a big ask at 3.2 miles. Um, and for a baseline, not, not for a proposal, but for a baseline, we used the recent bids that we've gotten, which are paving by Hutchins, milling by ECI, uh, culvert replacement by Little Oil Construction, all within the last 12 months or so, which are pretty good pricing because they're only going to go up by 5 or 6% a year anyway. So depending on when you pull the plug on the project, you'll have to incorporate 5% or 6% more each year. Um, we, depending on the time frame that you want to do it, is kind of key. Now, a lot of projects are done in two years. They do all the drainage work year one, let it sit, let the traffic pound it, and then they start to put the nice coat on it at the second year. So you have that time for everything to settle. What that does, it gives the budget some time to work on the cost. Because you have, now you have two years. Instead of trying to do everything with 225000 you get a chance to ask for 240000 next year and so on, so you end up with money. Plus we have a grant that's coming due in our cycle for Center Road at 175,000. So you add up those things and you split the project up into two phases. This is, I'm just explaining yeah. what the spreadsheet yeah. says. Yeah. And then you use some costs. So $3,500 a culvert ranges from $2,000 culverts to $5,000 culverts, depending on how deep you have to go, for example. The paving costs, the real paving costs, the building costs. So we did all that broke up the road into two phases, which is town line Morristown up to Cleveland Corners, and then Cleveland Corners to McKinstry Hill. So you can almost, you can almost see a three-year cycle where the lower half gets all the culvert work done, and then the next year that's paid, but then the upper half gets the culverts done, and then the third year you put the top coat on the upper part. And Mark was pretty confident that he doesn't have any other roads that are kind of pushing the paving schedule, because, but he still needs some money to do the patchwork right. and right. do a little overlay on a good road. But this is the major reconstruction road that 3.2 miles is, is, is a lot. What's your traffic flow on that road? Traffic flow. My mother lived there. It's incredible what has changed. Well, but the traffic flow would be it's massive. The contractor would come in and start at Morristown Town Line. Yeah. do a culvert and close the road on both ends so they people would know that the closure is moving north yeah. and you would leave in the morning sort of know where they are to take you know noise farm road or go up to center Hill road or whatever. <coughs> so traffic control won't be an issue i don't think it, it just hasn't been for paving the people just have to have a notice right. <laughs> right. so this is the cost estimate that you can just take one and pass it i, I really like the idea of two years well, i don't know yeah, because they settle so much in that right. first year that right. Because I ask a quick question horrible. since I live off of Center Road. Um, I live on the half that's uphill from uh, Cleveland Corners. Uh, so what's the plan for between now and when you guys fix it? Because the there's going to be a winter overlay for, for plowing purposes. <laughs> Okay, so because they're tearing up the road, there's some patching Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. they're doing that with a with, with, with a drag box. Town crew. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just the drag box. Yeah, yeah, the town crew will do that just to get it ready for winter. Oh, they're oh, they're you didn't get one? not only the complaints from the pleasure car vehicles, but the plows would pass along. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty. 
pretty nasty. So just to bring, I mean, you guys all know the culvert problem. I mean, this is a statewide problem with the roads. The ditching wasn't done for so long that these roads, the base of the roads, had pulled up silt into the sand. It's come wicked up with the water that's come underneath. And I mentioned Tomlin Road in Elmore because you have this big hill and you have a ditch. Then you have it you ditch it on the other side, and they want the water to run way under the road. But it's got caught in that first bad soil, and it's held up there. And so it's built up water in the ground, and so it just I guess it's goes amazing. right underneath and starts to push up. And you can actually see fountains of silt coming up in the road because the ditching's not good enough. I spent so, two or three years up there working on some of that. So culverts we can do with some extra help for sizing. You know, hire somebody like Matt that has the equipment and he goes out and looks at it and gives us a number on the sizing. It's a math formula. On the three options, which are on the top half, half of this under phase one, you have three main options, which is the reclaim, milling, and then the adjusted overlay. I have no idea, and Mark didn't either, if he had to break up that 3.2 miles, how much mileage would be under each of those different three tribes, you know, three treatment types? Because they don't know what's under, right? Well, he, he felt that, uh, I think the general gist is that the north half is a milling to get the crown back because the, the wheel running, and then you do an overlay. Like said, we're doing on main street, basically. On the south half, might need some base work, might need a full, re, you know, 10-inch reclaim. On a portion, he didn't say how much, but you know, I don't even know if that's true. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not here. We had, we had, you got to get it dry first, too, and you know, it's, it's, it's a long So I think that's the, that was the next kind of big thing, is how do you want to deal with this? How do you break up the 3.2 into those three different types? It's going to be one of those three different types of treatment. 3.2. 3.2, you said. Yeah. So, yeah, the lower half is one. Huh? What's that? Do, do one section, one here, and one section. Yeah. Well, it's not bad, but what? Right. This so, is just this but, is all for discussion because we're still getting more information. Right. But, uh, it gives you an idea. It, it's of not the section, yeah. but then what the cost is going to be because we don't know whether it's reclaiming, milling, or overlay. Yeah, you see, the reclaiming costs are about uh, 30000 30, the overlay. So if you're going to do milling and, <clears throat> and reclaim, they're almost the same. A little more expensive for reclaim, you're going deeper. Yeah. But the overlay is about 30,000 cheaper. I don't know about the I mean, foot, foot of the hill, but my way off the top of the hill, when they did that, they hauled in yards and yards and yards and yards and built it up and they fabriced the hill up there. Yeah, that's. Up yeah. through. And, and that's why you're getting those wheel ruts up there because they put so much gravel on there and they didn't compact it. Yeah. No, the truck's coming down through there. Now you get Push the, it right up. You get the wheel. Now down below, four corners and stuff. There's a section in there that really is not bad, where you can probably get by without milling if you didn't have to. But down towards Max Mom's, you better mill that because that may be broken up terrible down there. Yeah. yeah, and again, it all, and some of that's because of the hill above it. It's pushing water hard. I mean, my mother had a spring there that was probably a 20 gallon a minute spring on the south side of the road. <laughs> so it's a lot of water. Yeah. That you're well, going to try to get rid of it. Well, the reason the water is coming through there is not sand in the culverts because everything under that road's rocks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's coming, but you got to make sure that it's not moving the road a lot, you know, when you get onto that. You know, that, that stone it's wall. It's all stone walls. I don't yeah. know if you're old enough to remember that, uh, but that was stone wall right from Marsh's Dairy right through to Strobitz. Yeah. And when, when they built that road, they just or pushed it right push in the road. Yeah. So that's a natural culvert. Right? But that's getting silted. That's the problem. That's some of the problem they're having with Elmore's. Yeah. The silt is coming up. Fabric stops that. Fabric really is the best answer for roads. But without that, all those years when that water is coming up, it's bringing fines with it. And silt doesn't drain. It's like it holds like a sponge. Whereas if it's sand, and that's why some of Route 100, they need to take it like six or eight feet right down and start again because the silt over the years has caused a problem. Mm -hmm. We don't have that kind of money in the state to take Route 100 down six or eight feet. <laughs> huh. I want to own the sand pit, I think, that uh, <laughs> is around if they do. But, um, yeah, like I said, we did a, uh, like a culvert inventory, a full GPS culvert inventory of the range, and that was something I, not that I'm just selling, you know, whatever I have for stuff, but I'll tell you that 
to go through a town and do a full culvert inventory where you have an elevation of the road top and, and the elevation at the bottom of the inlet of that culvert so somebody can go and find that again and you have all that data somewhere. You can say at this mile mark, this location, there's this culvert, it's this diameter, and it's this elevation below the road so you know how deep it is and everything for all future use when somebody wants to come and replace it, they shoot it. Now I know Morristown did that yeah. years ago. <clears throat> and the cost of having them come and doing the GPS reading for us, we found out is unphenomenal for money. Yeah, I'd have to look at it because I just bought a, a new survey grade well, that's GPS what I'm saying. system. But I would have to look, mine is fast. I, I, the other day I did 275 shots in three hours in the woods. I mean, it is a whole different thing, but it all depends on what you're looking for for output. Are you looking for a whole terrain map of that? I can just pull LiDAR data down from the internet for the slope. But to actually take the shot in the culvert, you know, if you take a shot, if they're marked out, you take a shot on each end and then the top of the road, so you can tell how deep the thing is and the diameter, you're talking maybe 15 minutes of the site per culvert at the most. You know, if they're all pre-marked to get to them. I mean, that's a lot faster, I know, because those old GPS survey grades were, you have to be on that site. This was 10 years ago. In the right. Years. I mean, mine was not cheap. It was more than my truck. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's fast. When I say fast, I mean, you, I could shoot, I could take grade in here probably 15 feet in the door. It's a whole lot better technology now. Yeah, I'll <laughs> <that. No, I'm laughs> I still can't say that it would be cheap you know in the whole town. Is I mean, that you're talking for all the 7,000 holes. No, the phase one <laughs> is 1.33 miles. Let me do some math on that. <laughs> 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 Just take a quick yes. one. Yes. I would say there's probably seven thousand mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. That's like a year. Phase two. So So it's basically. So it's basically. So it's So So where did you know, uh, get no, the best amount of contingency survey? Don't uh, I almost put zero in there, but uh, no, right. we don't know what I did. I had it in my earlier, and I reduced it to five because I was like, because we use it at 15 percent of one rate. Yeah, I had it in 10 until it was so not all over time. Yeah, earlier today, I think we're going to do more for tonight. I'm going to keep it at five unless you want to go back. If I go by that, we would have split into three years. I mean, we don't we know what we're going to do. No, but as we go back through the planning process, we I would, I would say at least four for one year. No, we can do that. I was just trying to get something to do for something. So you're going to go back and there's a thing called side art. That's easy to just do using the Dave, the other thing about phase one, is it doesn't hunt. These guys have something. You know, things like the pyramids. Okay, right. Hey, guys. Excuse me. Right, I need to. So okay. they're looking at phase one and phase two of a cost estimate for center road. Phase one includes 100% of all the culverts. Right, that's the culverts, right. So it's higher than phase two. Phase two is just the overlay or whatever treatment you want to put on it. So your phase one would be all the culverts. Yeah, yeah. that would be the first thing you do. And then you right. then you just sort of decide if you want to wait. You know, it's a money thing as well as the timing thing for the construction. Yeah. So I can, I can see a contractor doing everything in one season. With the right equipment. Right, exactly. Doing all we the can't, We can't do it with our little backhoe. We no. Can't, we can't even no. touch it. So we do. No, we want to try. No. Right. No, do all don't. the culverts no. next year. Right. And then, depending on this. Is this the stuff we're going to do the bond on? Well, we may not That's need an to. Option. Yeah, Bonding it's an option. option. Yeah, you it's an option. If but you don't right. see the light with your current funding or even a small increase in your annual budget, right. then you're sort of forced to bond because there's some efficiencies with bonding. Bonding estimate for a 10 year note on a million is like 115,000, which almost funds a rubber tired excavator to do the work itself. So there is a, there is a cost to bonding and borrowing, but if, if you can do it with pushing that budget a little bit more, we're not really there. On highway, we're almost there on some items. We've checked them off as good, right? You know, but other ones, paving included, 
Uh, we're a little behind on right now. So. You would um, use a rubber tire? I, I would use a rubber tire because I think about 80% of the work that you could do from pushing over trees to cleaning out ditches, miles and miles of ditches, is done from the edge of the road. It's not done by going down off into the road. But 20% of the time, you're going to need to get off the road. You don't want to put lives on that unless that road does. No, we won't. <laughs> So, all right, let me see. We could sit this I've had good experience with a rubber tire. I would not go alive myself. I'd go a little alive myself. But yeah, me too. So there's, 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 a, there's a reason for those, and you could probably buy a small one to get to the small jobs that you have. But if you're doing a lot of ditch work, which is parallel to the road, there's a lot of it. You're going to destroy your paved yeah. roads with that right. piece of equipment. Well, we're, we're not going to buy an excavator, we're going to rent one. Or yeah, we're hire somebody to yeah, you I think it would be a good idea to buy one. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> That's, That's a different, different topic. Topic. Uh, Okay. <laughs> Can't table that one right now. I'm still trying to figure out center road. <laughs> <laughs> Is there something like in their cost of this? Cancel it. <laughs> in their cost of this, I know Ron mentioned that not having the town do this, uh, because obviously we don't have the machinery to do it and stuff. But is there town manpower that can do some of the trucking because you're going to replace some of the material and you're going to haul off some of the material as scrap? Are you planning on using town I trucks would. to haul some? I, well, to supplement. I, I'm not I, saying 100% of the trucking. I'm just saying to supplement the trucking I, work. I'm going to tell you, Matt, you don't want to take the whole summer and try yeah, that's to what I meant. I, tie these asking. guys up. Let them do I, their I, I, Yeah, see. Yeah. Part okay, of this no, and looking at right, yeah. contracting it all out I, is that it I, then turns okay. them loose to be able to get caught up yeah, right. on a no, lot of I, stuff that they aren't able to get caught up on. I know they're pushing, Mark's pushing stumps back right. that they hit with the plow wing. Right. Uh, right. You know, they're busy right. all the time. So, so our just, thought with this is and you got ship it all out. And, right. I think you just do, contract the whole thing out. I, I agree with Susan on that. Yeah. yeah. And, and by the time they did that, and, and our crew didn't have to deal with any of this at the end, because it's, we're talking a couple of years here, we should be pretty well caught up in town. I mean, you're, you're you know, never, it's impossible not, to be completely you know, caught know, up. No, I mean, Center Road is probably the, the worst one I've been on in the whole town. It's probably Center Road. Yeah. It's, I, I agree with that. Um, yeah. It's just time. It's just time. It's a working document. Mark is getting more information. Okay. And a, but, there's no easy silver bullet, but right. at least you should have the best information to yeah, we get so look we, at your options. We'd start with one year, we'd do all the culverts. And it looks as though, I mean, it might be possible, because again, we've talked about um, depending on the size of this and what it would cost and how we do it, um, the possibility of doing a bond that wouldn't increase taxes and we'd use our uh, part of our current budget to pay for the bond so we'd have the cash to be able to it's cash flow works. everything to and yeah. get it all done. Yeah. So it looks with this, the, the first year we'd do the culvert and, and, and then we'd have the second. Gobbled. What's that? The culvert? Yeah. No, you got to cover them. you got to cover them. You can't. You can't. You yes. gotta go up through there and salt that, salt that, no. and then everything. You gotta just come in there and patch right over it with the black top. Just, just patch. Yeah, yeah. Just, just yeah. even though it's a patch, and yeah. you know it's and not work right. all up on the bottom roll this this yeah. spot's where it's right. Yeah. Okay, and then the be. second year, and again that would be. Then do we do the whole thing, or do we split that into two years? Well, I think we, I think we'd be smart to look at the bond and do the whole thing, wouldn't you? I guess it's up to the rest of you, but I kind of. I'm asked. I think the quicker you can get it done, the better off you're going to be. Mm -hmm. You know, but that's up to the rest of you guys too. Yeah. So we do it in two years. The first year you do the, and I I would think once you do the culverts, we should then have a better idea of how much we need to do with the milling over reclaiming and everything right uh, would that, that does that help i think that's the biggest unknown is we're so early that going right. to how you're going to fund it is early right i think a so lot right. of it when you do your culvert should start seeing what you got in the road bed. exactly yeah. i would yeah. think so yeah. Yeah. so so that um are we would be ron be okay cash wise next year to commit yeah. everything and get the culverts done 
Perfect. And then we would know if we need to do, and of course then it would be a much smaller bond, if we need to bond to get all of the paving done in the second year. Because mm -hmm. once the culvert work's done, we'll know what we, how much we need to do it we'll so we'll get a better cost. We'll have an answer in May or June about the paving grant too, which is yeah. 175000 Right. And, and if it's not next year, it'll be the next year because we'll start pounding on somebody at the state if we push it out more than seven, eight years, which is what we've been experiencing. Sure, right, because... because <laughs> I only have that repayment, though. Well, we can use, all, but, can use all that material. I we'll have no... We'll quality. find out what it is once they do all the covers yeah. and just make it based on what, you know, because we got look at it's the best thing to do. That. Exactly. We've got, well, then we have real information. We're just trying to see what we so no, we're hard about it. I want to get it just as smooth as we possibly can so we can have it on the meat so we can lower the speed limit again. Because if they want some damn fast gas. That way all the ATVs with their off-road tires can be on smooth roads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bicycle is very tight. There we go. Right. <laughs> They're already on Route 100 now. Okay, so that sounds um, sound like a reasonable plan. We know what we're doing. And, and in the short term, we've got the just taking care of it to get it through this window. Phew, okay. Hutchins. It's a good plan. Oh, good plan. So Brad just uh, emailed and said that he just got off a 60 hour shift and he's sorry he missed you, we'll see you next month. Okay. So that's his. Hutchins. Hutchins has a proposal written up for uh, $63 Done to overlay East Main Street. And that needs. I see that. Where it is. I think so. That's right. It is in here. Needs your okay. Look on page 19. Let's see. Yeah. 19. Ron, thank you for numbering the pages. <laughs> That's an idea. That's okay. But I did, we did a couple of project updates before that, though, if I can do those real quick. Okay, yeah. So Main Street stop, stop sign, we were considering a sort of a pop-up trial this fall to just look at, see how a four-way intersection at Main Street, East Main Depot, and Eden would work. Right. Talked to Doug Weber, who actually did a design for that a number of years ago as part of a safe route to school design, because mm -hmm. they were putting a crosswalk in at Eden Street and okay. East yep. Main. And they said, you know, ideally you have crosswalk stop sign relationship. Yeah. And at that time, for whatever reason, it didn't get implemented to the, the depots. The sidewalks went in and the crosswalks, right. but not the, the so. stop, the two stop signs. So he was asking, do you want me to refresh that existing design so you can look at it and see how that would work? Or do you not want me to work on it? So I said, I'd, I'd mention it tonight. But there is a there are warrants there that he feels could be met, which is the technical right. review before you put up a stop sign. It said two stops. It would be a stop. Adding two for all, Main adding, Street. So all four ways you would stop. Main Street, East, and East. For the Main crossing Street. of the kids. For the, before the crosswalks. Well, before it, the crosswalks. Be, right, before the crosswalks. But it's also, um, and, and some traffic folks have said, you know, our issue of everybody coming through town, and it's particularly, they don't come home that way, but in the morning trying to avoid the roundabout, maybe, coming through the village. Maybe it's a way to get the traffic to go somewhere else. <laughs> All the way down through the village. Yeah, exactly. If you put and, a stop sign here, then, exactly, you put a stop sign there. Way stop. I remember when they put three-way stop sign up the courthouse. The, right. Yeah. Ooh, that was a discussion. Right. So where about the school? Most kids are going back and forth. So uh, I think you know, I, I agree. I think there should be one put up. Well, at least. Well, you've got you, what? Look at study that. Well, it'll be a sketch. Yeah. 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 Just see the sketch, and you can see. You get that for next month. Yeah. 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 He had a base map already done like five, six years ago, so he's going to update it. Yeah. And then we can then we can put it up to see how it to see if the impact is what we'll we get think them to go the bypass one way or another. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And the people that are coming through and stopping already are fine. But it's the and, and again what happens with that and I found it's interesting if you go you go park on that corner in the morning once school's in. Oh, that would, man, it's that would not be good for the businesses though. 
well, well no, just talk to And they said, no, because the people that are coming through and stopping and getting a sandwich, they aren't, they aren't hungry. They aren't. The, they aren't the, the, right. the, that's, that's not going to alter them. Right. I, I talked to Fork and Gavel about it. I said, they said, no, you might actually get a few more people to stop. They have to stop. <laughs> I said, okay, okay. Okay, long as I want to. Okay, so we got sidetracked with Hutchins. No, yeah. you were doing that before, yeah. right? No, Prospect Street. Okay. There was some uh, electrical work down there, water work, sewer work that uh, that we started reviewing with the village of Hyde Park because they're doing water and sewer throughout the village. And Doug Weber, who's doing the big Johnson Street extension, West Main Street stormwater project. Uh, began to look at the plans and start asking questions about the water and sewer project on Prospect Street because we have a turnaround problem there with a sewer manhole that's coming up and you know since we're doing infrastructure we're trying to think can we sort of get that project done at the same time and Mark French and the water department met over there uh, and they started looking at some of those things and it's really not going to be a very complicated project but there are sidewalks on both sides of Prospect Street, which is, they're, they're half in, half out, they've been covered in grass. And there's no turnaround for the plow truck. And there's a manhole that sticks up where the middle of the road, where it probably is okay, but there's no, it's, it's it, it needs to be dealt with a sense of a good pavement surface, so the plows can go right over it, and the trees taken out, and those kind of things. So Mark French met with Doug, and we're gonna come up with a, sort of a redesign to deal with the water, sewer, electric, and get see if that's something the highway guys could do next year and just kind of rough up the road and repack it and pave it. What we don't know is the right-of-way. So again, part of the water and sewer project are, is right-of-way work, and today we received the first time, hopefully a complete set of water and sewer plants from the village. So right. now we're gonna meet hopefully on Wednesday or Thursday to look at all the infrastructure issues throughout the village related to the water and sewer planning that's been going on, which we haven't had a chance to look at. Typically that work would be given, be reviewed and approved by the select board for use of the highway right away through the 1111 process. We haven't done that yet. So I think the village was waiting until they got to a certain point in their planning to get comments. So we haven't had the pre-comment thing. We just said, here's our plans and they're going to vote, the bond votes in October for the water project. The sewer project already was voted last March or October. Right. So this is the first time that we've actually had, I don't know what we're gonna find, I can't predict that. I know we have at least a water, uh, sorry, a sewer pump problem, potentially a conflict between Johnson Street Extension's sinkhole project and the sewer pump station where they wanna put it. There's sort of an overlap of plans. So we have to resolve that one. I don't know what else is out there. Um, one of the review uh, issues that popped up in VTrans for the sinkhole project is a historic <coughs> division concern for something the village wanted, which was a concrete pad at the corner of West Main and Johnson Street Extension. Yeah. Kind of went on to private property yeah. where they pushed snow. That is going to be a major delay to the project we heard. So we need to resolve that. And I don't... The, be because... The, because it's a undue negative impact on the historic resources of the village of Hyde Park. So we can't go forward with our federal money grant, which is the sinkhole project until that's resolved. They stopped reviewing everything last few weeks ago. What? <coughs> so the resolution, sure there, there's sure two- want to know what historic things were. It, it, it doesn't, it, it all doesn't they did tell was, you, it just tells they you. They said that infrastructure item, pile it, I don't know if it's the combination of the pile of snow in the village or the concrete pad. Concrete pad. Going out to a front yard mm -hmm. is a negative undue impact, yeah. so it stopped the project. Now we have to resolve that. So you resolve it by appealing basically to historic resources and coming up with all the reasons why it's not historic which is a high hurdle, very high, time and money kind of hurdle. Or we take it out of the plans, and it's something the village of trustees wanted because it's part of their snow right. removal, and the town crew comes up with a resolution to why that's not needed anymore. I don't know what that is yet, but that's one of the options. For example, we could drop the plow at the, at the, at the opera house, take the snow around the corner down Johnson Street where we're redoing that shoulder so there'll be room for disposal and don't bring it across the road. They're not supposed to be doing it anyway. You're not supposed to bring snow across the road anyway. Right. So that would solve two problems. It would, it would 
This is just an idea that we're just trying yeah. to figure out as a resolution okay. to the, we need to get the sinkhole project moving. We're supposed yes. to run a bid this winter, so we're right. ahead of things instead of behind. But if this goes on for two or three months, we're going to be behind again for next year bidding. So where's the pattern? Timmy Arrows? Uh, the corner lot at West Main and Johnson Street Extension. Yeah. Cousins. Land. Yeah. Front but across the road. It's kind of old no, there. We're on their property. On uh, Cousins? Is that Cousins property? Well, wow. he used to be. Yeah. I don't know who it is yeah, now. Yeah, the, the folks. Call, call, call it the northwest the corner. Yeah. Oh. The northwest corner of the intersection. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I'm just trying to look at that and see what that concrete pad's all about. What, yeah, what do we need that pad for? No, it was a request of the village when they turned over the project to us that they that we incorporate that pad and get the easements for them. Pile snow. And I think we said we would keep that in the plans <coughs> at the beginning right. of the process. Now we're at the end of the process and it popped up as one of the it's major hurdles. Right. Yeah. We definitely get it out of the plan. plan. So I think I think you, you, can, you can take it off the plan, but I think we have to come up with an alternate. You still have to deal with the snow, right? Right. I think that you can't not deal with the snow somehow. And I, we just soon not have it crossing roads. That's a maintenance right. problem. <clears throat> so it's actually a double win, sort of. The, the village doesn't have to worry about that one pile, and we'll take it off the side with our wings to not have it pile up anyway. Yeah. So anyway, I need, we need to make a decision on that. So it, since it, if we can have a decision to move forward without the concrete pad, but to resolve the snow, then I think everybody's needs are met. And the yeah. project can go forward and dip Doug, some, uh, Doug Weber from Summit would revise the plan out of there. We won't need to get easements from the people, which is also another right. another task for that property. But it is a change the of plan. That's what I was trying to Kaylee Roberts. Yeah. 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 It is a change of plan from what the select board had right. agreed with the trustees, <coughs> but I think. Yeah. It, so, it, what do we need to do? Well, just, it needs to be it needs to be mentioned tonight. It needs to be the board is supportive of making the change to delete the concrete pad from that yep. corner and to work with the village to solve the snow. To problem. solve the snow problem. So, right. okay. Okay. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody aye. opposed? Okay. All right. Hutchins proposal. Now Hutchins. Okay. <coughs> We got to pay it anyways, right? Yep. Uh, make a motion to go ahead and pay it. Second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. Phew. Only money. Thank you. Money. I know it. But it will be a good job when you get up today. And you know what? What is the difference between the blacktop, just money, because I don't know, between a shim and a taco? Okay. The way they mix it? It's, no. A shim is when you come in and you got all these roots and stuff yeah. like this. That comes in there and shims it. It's the same, same mixture and everything. But it just puts a better outlook when you do your topping, your inch and a half topping. Because Ron's got an inch chip, which is good. But then you come in and do your, because if you don't put a topping on it, and you do it without doing the shim, you do all one coat, you're going to have your dips and dollars and everything, right. just like it is out there. Oh, well, well, I see. The no. shim just takes out. The dips? Like up on the side. Yeah, it's, it's like, like, it's like layering cake. But, yeah, the, exactly. yeah, but the black top is the black top. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same same right. stuff. Right. And if you just use shim, the problem is is you have really shallow spots that actually break through, so you don't want to drive on your shim too long. Or the cold mix. Or the, yeah. the cold mix. And you also have a joint there that yeah. can hold water and water can get between yeah. the okay. few layers. So yeah. that's why you want to talk. The other, oh, Dave, the other, the other similar debate is when you scope out your types of mix. So if you're doing a type one, two, three, or four. So the type one and two is really your sub base. Lots of stone, lots of porousness. Yeah. Of so water goes through a little bit. When you do the three, which is what we usually do, you're getting a, a mix of smaller tighter. stone, tighter. but you're getting more of the tar too, so it's a little bit smoother. Okay, right? A little bit tighter top to it. That's what I was getting at. That, 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 the, between stone and water, really, that first one was rough, coarse. Oh yeah, that's probably a type two. Then the, the one you put on top of that is pretty smooth. 
Yeah. And that could have been a type four. That was really smooth stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I almost think it was type, it has more fines and yeah. oil in it, but it lets almost no water go through, right. which is a be benefit. You don't want to do I mean, type two on your surface. Water will go right through, through. Maybe, okay. maybe some other warmer climate. You watch when they put the top over there in the village of Marshall, that top is going to be state. That would probably be four. Mm. That'll be a four. Yeah. That would be a four. So you don't want to put a wait. four necessarily where you have truck traffic because you still want stone for that structure. You might want to put a three. We did three on Garfield Road because we didn't want to put a four, which is a softer. Yeah. yeah. So okay. nice don't forget you. Same price, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Same Interesting. Price. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just wondered that. I heard the different types and stuff. Okay. They used to run three quarter a lot. They don't Better seem connections. to run that base somewhat. Better. Don't put asbestos in it either, which would really cause <laughs> most of our problems with our roads. Yeah. It used to hold well. <clears throat> oh, that's all about it. Okay, I did that. Okay, better connections. Just needs an extension. It's really pretty simple. Just needs an extension on the grant time. They ended up in a situation where it doesn't it doesn't cost us anymore. But one of their key people took a different job, so they just sort of hit slow for a while while they got a new hire and the person came up to speed. So it's just the they're, they're not able to realistically give us a good product in the time period. So wanted a two month extension, which is no problem. So move. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. Appointing a town health officer. Okay. We need, uh, State of Vermont requires the select board to make a recommendation. Oh, you're, you're signed by the. Hmm? No, no. Keith Elbridge. Hmm. He served for three years, so his term ends this end of September. He's willing to do it again. He's willing to do it again. He was here for a little while, then he bolted. Yeah. Yeah. Tonight. So well, that was him there? Yep, in the back. I point to point Keith Eldridge. So, so it's chair will uh, sign that document. Second. I'll have some stuff for you to sign after. I can, I, I can tell that. I, I got to go home and see where the bear is. Tomorrow. <laughs> we, we have no issues with elf stuff, have we? Nothing. We so he's going to he's gonna responding the uh, the issues of the more complicated ones, like the apartment with yeah. kids in it. We yeah. haven't had that kind of thing, yeah. but that's good. I don't know whose yeah. fault that is. It's a good place to be, though. Those are time consuming and not, not a good situation. Yeah. And good so thing. all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. Doing a good job. All right, yeah. And uh, you told that who it was and thank him for it. You thank him with a second. Yeah, that's a good. Purchase mm -hmm. orders. Start 22, which is the, the crusher that just needs a <coughs> motion to amend the line, uh, the budget line from. How do they see 325 per yard? 325 a yard. Yep. Yeah. And that's one inch minus. 11,875 yards, is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, it's just math. Yeah. It's just math divided by thirty. They like to get over ten thousand and give a good price. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So that's amendment to change. You already approved this on June, but uh, right. it's just changing the 05 to ten on the account number. We do, we do them all. We do them all at once. Yeah. Did they say when they were coming in. I think it might be next week. You don't see it. Nothing. I'm missing that here. I don't see it. I don't see it either. But next week. I think it was soon. Yeah. Well, I want to talk to Fred, so that's why I'm saying that. Yeah. So Dave, we're going to do these as three together. We just went over the crushing at 325 a yard, uh, changing that line code only from 05 to 10. Okay. Uh, what color? 
FY 2020-02, same yeah. thing. Yeah. Some changes right. to the line coding, same as the prior approval. This yeah. is part of the work right. that right. Ali is doing. Yeah. 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 We have to do the whole chart of accounts and make changes to make sense for reporting yeah. purposes. And the PO 2020-03 is the third one. That's the group bulk purchase of chloride <clears throat> for dust control, $27,000. So two, two line code changes and one new one for a dormant group. Make okay. a motion to change the line, the line item to the purchase orders. Three of them. Oh, well, there's two of those. Two. Two, two, line, two, two, and then, uh, two line items. Two line items. Two and the new one. The chloride. The chloride. Okay. You second. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> Anybody opposed? Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, purchase orders. Okay, review minutes. <laughs> so, Ron, on page four. On what day? On page four. Oh, on page four. On page four. Okay. Yep. Okay. In the executive session? Yeah. There were only four of us. See, I do read them. July, that's a good catch. <laughs> July 16th. Minutes. Yeah. Okay. That's the one I was missing. <laughs> okay. All right. Didn't find anything else. On the minutes, these we're done. Tomorrow, Make a motion to review. I have to. Geez, to pass that. <laughs> to accept the minutes? To accept the minutes right. of um, yeah. my one job. 716, <laughs> 718, and 807 of 2019. One change to July 16. Right. Got it. Yeah. Okay, need a second. Sorry. A lot of heads. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. So you'll notice you don't get to abstain in these meetings. Okay. Whew. So now, <laughs> here's a bunch of paper your way. Oh boy. Just split them up here. Well. Do I have more paper? Oh. Huh? Another tree. Another so tree. Use that. There we go. There What's we go. the DOC and some? little DOC have tonight? Right. Just here to observe. Oh, okay. Did you wrong me just to listen? All right. <laughs> What's the DOC? I just can't listen to wrong. Oh, yeah, okay. Junior, you can call me. We're going to bring his birthday cake tonight. Thank you, Brian. That's right. Thank you, Brian. Now, if you don't vote on your birthday, you're not getting any older. What's that? Yeah. Happy birthday? Happy birthday. Two more weeks, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you go out this weekend and do something fun for your birthday? Yeah, I did. All right. I went out for anybody. <laughs> Had a wild time? For us. <laughs> 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 it is all relative, isn't it? Yeah.
I just talked to Fred the other day. I thought those were prices that he was giving me for a project. So I was curious if that was the same. Who's already signed you to? Yeah. Who signed you? I don't know. Mike? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Okay. okay. Oh, there's an all sign. Wait. Okay. Oh, I got them all. Here's my all signs. Sorry. We don't sign these. The secretary. Don't we all sign them? <laughs> No, I don't think no, I don't Okay. Like one of the no, no, I just want to talk to him. Yeah. Oh, Saturday, right? maybe? About okay. sand. Did they all sign everything? No. No, no, no. no, 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 no. The, the authority of the chair is the authority of the chair. Right. Right. The board can choose it. Yes. Right. If you want to. Okay. Yes. So well, once, once Sue's already signed, I shouldn't say that because you're going to sign them. <laughs> right. So you have to go to sign them. If you kept right. them separate, there should be some that are already right. approved, but I don't know what to yeah. I'll, I'll ask yeah. her to bundle them. Well, no, actually, she's done a wonderful all sign. All sign on them. Uh, okay. Good. So there you go. Follow See, her stickers. Right. Oh, follow, follow her stickers, and those okay. are the ones you need to sign. Okay. But it lets you look at all the others. Yeah. Ooh. You don't need to sign this. Don't sign that one. Which one? No, anyway, I talked to Fred the other day about road sand. Yeah. 200,000 yards of road sand. And, uh, we were just going over rough numbers and I talked to him about crusher or run and anything else. And, uh, it, it can't be those prices. It's a good product, too. We have never had any of the, the low number is 10. We found that out. It's yeah. like five something well, if, you, if, you had, if you're under 10. They have mobilization. I mean, they have, you know what I mean? Yeah. They have moved. No, I know. I know why. I'm just saying that they were yeah. that we had to, we had to get the budget up above. Yeah. To take advantage of that. Yeah. 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 No, he was he was telling about the best sand processing machine was built to so We can't we can't have them come every year, so we don't make enough, so we do it every other. Yeah. yeah. No, it's here's that sign. Like I said, it, you know, I I did a somebody wanted to buy a rally. Whole cost estimate on what, the, what you should offer a uh, person for that based on extraction. Get Act 250. Act There's no sign. executive session just to catch everybody up on that but this is fine okay we don't have to sign either one no i'm saying we don't no, no. Sign okay. yeah yeah i came in to have yeah. the conversation yeah. with the ladies yeah. 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 yeah it's roger yeah. 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 Oh, we need that. There's a. There's two different things there. This is. Yeah, there's, there's the other. There's Roger needs to sign that one. This is an extra thing that they're adding on top of the other thing. Yeah, this is the per call. This is the once a year per call. There's some in here that are double. I think there's two of these. Oh, we don't sign these. Nope. Well, yeah, there's an engine loop that is. But it's still making two lieutenants. So this right here is going this is this right just this here is going to be stuff to arrow from the sun Yeah, you can. Here come, here come, here come some more. You can. 12, 22, 22. There might be an extra one to get to 26. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think you need to put things. 
Oh, I should have scripted up here. That's just one page. My bad. What's that? Oh, She was next week. She, uh, she did say, so after it happened, she said, that was the kind of fall that makes you realize you're not as young as you used to be. <laughs> she said that ground seemed a lot further away than it used to. Yeah. I told her, you know how I did for bravery. I did to see a bear through that door had a horse. Oh, it's the horse. <laughs> well, come to our house and we'll take care of it. Huh. Yeah, one time. one in the back doorstep today? Well, <laughs> we, the, the dogs now, you know, I got an 11-week-old puppy with it, right? And we, I had literally just taken them out. And you know, house, we'd just come up and we were starting down the road. And we just go down the road a little way and out in our fields and mode paths and back down. Mm -hmm. And we came back down. Man, the dogs and the puppy, they were... They were all over something, and we just walked up past there. And our Beth came out. And she said, "A big bear just walked through here and checked out the compost and came back down the walkway and went right around the corner of your house." I said, "Okay, we'll get the dogs so in the house and call the neighbor." Is it the neighbors who feed the birds in the yeah. summer and have outdoor? He said, "Yeah, he's uh, here. He's like over. He's uh, lying down eating all the sunflower seeds." Oh, okay. So we're going, okay. So we got a big bear right around New here. System. Joel, my brother, this is off the paper. Or Shelly and I was working on the pool up here. There was something wrong with the pool. We were changing holes. We were working on the pool. All of a sudden, my brother came out. I think this is talking to the on-scene response. He left the little bell out of him. He brought me right off. This is the extra paperwork on top of it. What's going on? These are two different things. They couldn't even say that. It was a bear standing right behind you. Now, when was that? Past few days? Okay, so this is this guy is So this this guy's she was coming out of her door and that girl, young girl, the father place was coming out of her door and she said, I turned her up. So he's hanging around. Yeah, he's I just he's he's still he's still What's today? It actually, I think it's good mail here. 19. 19. Oh, no. 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 You only got 12 more days he won't be there. You want to come get him? September 3rd, right here. Yeah, I know that's right. Is that when they, when they, when they... Yeah, well, I'm not on here. No. Oh, okay. Here's the Okay. 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 Okay.
Yeah. Roger, decide those two, and then we'll get them. Absolutely. Can you three yep. signatures of these Oh, okay. Or if you squeeze all five. No, 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 we can't do Thought I just did this. You just gave me one. That's all I only got back over. So are you okay with our fiber person too? Did you do that before I got here? Or no? Okay. Eight. Yeah, that was on the public. Nineteenth? Yep, nineteenth. I only need three. You got Roger, you got two. Yeah, we can all get on there if you want. Uh, yeah. You know, I don't want you to feel left out. I don't feel that. All right. Well, yeah, so he's watch. already forgot some, so he's left out all the ones. He made his quota. Okay. So let's just start here. We'll get him. Okay. I guess now I need a motion to make a motion to set the town orders. Second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. Okay, got anything else for us, Ron? Uh, just a couple quick things. Okay. The Grange Hall committee has been working hard trying to get a roof contractor to right. come by, and they had an agreement in principle. The select board approved it. The last meeting, I think, or the meeting yeah. before for Silver Ridge construction, they canceled. They the, canceled. They canceled. So there's nothing happening this fall. Right now, they're still trying to get some roofing contractor to stop by and maybe do something, but they might not get anything done. Uh, they also had an open house that they were trying to work on for this coming Sunday, and that musician fell through, and they've been scrambling over the weekend to try to reschedule that. But the Green should have an event on September 22nd. Now. Oh, so I think I'm just going to move it. Um, it's, is that home day? 22nd? It's the week, it's the day after home day. Oh, day one after. Saturday. Oh, I'm so, up. On Sunday. Sunday's the 20th. So, it's on a Sunday, okay. So they, they put another ad out there for the group or what? what? They just tried to call them, because kind of, they're already doing a bid. So. Yeah, so they're calling people to see if they can find somebody to do it. But if they can't find to anybody, do it. Then they'll try to get somebody locked up this winter for spring work. But I guess they're just either too much work or too little laborers. One of the it's the well, roofers. The roofers well. are, it's a miserable, we had a <coughs> of time. They it's a miserable job, really. They, really. they use prison labor. So, like, a lot of the prisoners um, are taken out on day work. And when they get out of prison, they work on roofs and still, you know, they work for the contractors, but boy, it is a bear. We did like seven roofs in the guard and it was a bear to get to the roof. Some, this roof is a little steeper. Yeah. No, what I'm saying, it was just, just to get them there. Yeah. To look at the things, it was hard. Uh, the other, stage, you know, the other thing coming okay. up is the VLCT annual meeting on October 2nd and they always say do you have a delegate that you would like to send to select board so I have a forum here if you want to send one Somebody yourself to go. okay it's just something they want to know who's coming or not coming or not coming right so okay think about that the brochure is right there if you want to yeah. take one home to look at the oh, event so they just got in the mail yeah there's extra ones here if you don't have that yet okay and then there's the last action item is the ENO report from the town listers to oh, yeah, right. their couple of corrections there. Yeah. Okay. That would be it. You signed it, but you need to vote it. Right. <clears throat> Two properties. There's a looks like there's a decrease in one property due to depreciation factor that was not right. And then there was a mobile home that moved out that came off. Came off. Right. So I need a motion to accept the errors and omissions report. So moved. Second. All, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. Anybody got anything else? Yeah, I got a couple. Of them. Okay. okay. Pocket Park. I contacted both. Iron Griswold and Griswold, and both of them stick together. And all they can do for us is knock $20 a yard off. Okay. Yeah. So, where's that leave us with the 
With concrete? Yeah. Makes it by hand in a wheelbarrow. Oh. Now, now let me ask you something. <laughs> oh. Okay. Would, would, would blacktop work on that? No. No. It wouldn't put the same one. Yeah. Well, we have, we have this under $10,000. There's one half of that's going to the watering fountain yeah. that's going to be near the sidewalk. The other half was for concrete. It's the labor to get the forms and the stone and all that stuff ready for the port. So we probably have enough money in the grant budget for the actual material. Mm -hmm. But the laborer, Vermont DOC or somebody, oh, he's here. Um, <laughs> or highway crew or village crew or volunteers from the community would have to figure out how to get that together. Greg Paws has agreed to like supervise and yeah. make sure it's all the right size and all that stuff. Is, is that something you can do, Brian? We're uh, <clears throat> being held up by the uh, Jenna um, Memorial building down in the yep, Jones. Yep. Yeah, they were working on that right now, trying to get that wrapped up. We're on a timeline too to try to have it wrapped up by the end of this month. Then I'm hoping to be able to, to uh, devote some time to this project and try to get it uh, get it done. And so uh, uh, it's feasible. I mean, I just wish the courts would start sending us a little more people rather than, uh, you know, but I can't change that. I don't have any control of that. But uh, um, we can do it. I mean, I I've done projects before. Uh, Many ways like that. So um, it, I'm just worried about the time frame with the amount of people I've got. You know, that's what if I can work with. Them, when you think in September? Yeah. You know, I, we can get some guys in September. So I, I I can give you a. A day in September. Rolly's going to be off. There's going to be two days. Well, that's right. Rolly, yeah, he's got all that of freedom done. Roger could give us a hand. Yeah. I mean, I'll, soon, 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 soon. I'm a big help. Right. The hard part is going to be in the site work. Getting the site work set up, get it, get it leveled, that sort of thing, and and uh, the contours and everything with the, the way the property is now, that sort of thing. And then you're going to have a slight slope, I think, uh, uh, coming down by where the old. Uh, Home booth was yeah. there and stuff like that for a walkway coming up into it. Well, but uh, this big thing is getting it in, getting it compact. Yeah. You guys got the compactor, it works really good. I've used it up here yeah. and, and stuff. So it's it's just a time factor type thing. But if we, like you said, if you want to volunteer or something, oh, yeah, it wouldn't be the labor, it's no be a problem. Just somebody know what they're doing to yeah. tell us what to do. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> what yeah. an opportunity to tell them what to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a compact. I'm going to put my new one in that hammer. I need a drill. So, you so, find out you're just running a hammer, you'll have to run the pen, won't you? <laughs> so, no. No, if, but uh, if, if you don't mind somebody sitting in the truck marking orders, just, you've been doing that for years. <laughs> Easing into his Roll. retirement, right? You, you don't feel bad. Roll into the good worker. <laughs> there we go. Don't feel bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, so, no, so, no. so it sounds no, like no. you guys can, you know, no, can no, connect no, up no, with. No. Well, that's, I can't that's say right. it because of the camera, but I wait until after the camera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought you were waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So it sounds like you guys. Well, can I don't like no ahead of time. Yeah, I don't like no ahead So I'm hoping like to have uh, uh, the General Mo Jenna Memorial um, building down there done by the end of this month, and it's coming along. I think it's feasible to do that and uh, the grass out here might get a little bit longer but it'll get me into the position where we can get you over here to help and stuff i know i told you um <laughs> but uh, yeah well um we should be able to get it uh get it september going. will be good we'll yeah. 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 yeah the leaves are already starting to change that's what's making me nervous yeah. Yeah, so i got the keys and we get the benches it's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> we like have a big party in those been six years since I've been here. Right. <laughs> if yeah. they all hung around worn out up there, the mice might come up. Yesterday, last week, I dusted off the plaques from 2013. They are supposed to be on those benches. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> We've been doing it for yeah. five, like six years. Now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> We're just clipping along yeah. at the speed of <laughs> the federal government. And, I, and I'm sure that if you get out there, I bet you you'll get some more volunteers that will. Oh yeah, once they know it's right there in front of the courthouse, yeah, yeah. That, that won't be any problem. Yeah, yeah. maybe okay. 
puts up on the front porch for them. I don't right. know. Well, right. 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 Okay, anything else? Oh, yes. Sand computers. How much you find out? I did. Well, this is the third month in a row you forgot it. Sand computers, I know they're, you mean the ones in the truck? Yeah. Now? I know that they're working on them because I talked to Mark that day. They were down to Viking and they were getting updated on it. So I know it's. I know it's. They're on it. I just happened to call him for something. I needed something in Burlington. Okay. I asked him if he was going to Burlington, and he said yes, they were actually down there right now, and they were working on the computers. Okay. And they were explaining it all to them, setting it up, coordinating it. So. Yeah, there's two trucks on how long are Two? Two. Two, yeah. Same pile all up? Yeah. 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 Oh, Kilimanjaro. I think they got done today, yeah. didn't they? I was over today. Yeah. yeah. They're almost done last Thursday, so I think yeah. they, whatever they're doing, I haven't even looked at it. It's real, like, real, real nice looking sand. Yeah. Real good looking sand. Yes. Say that. Quite a pile, too. Yeah, it's it's impressive. You realize how much sand must go out in the yeah. state. Just and, then, and then don't. You, know you got that extra for day. You know where all that sand ends up? In your ditches. Uh, yeah, in the ditches. <laughs> That's right. Ditches. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I think it's got a little extra for you, Dave. Yeah, get it. <laughs> well, we figured okay. last year we had eight ice storms. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah it ended up on my neighbor's lawn because I have a six foot snowboard. Okay. Do we have anything else? It's yeah. funny, I live on a state road. My state road is covered with sand and they don't even use much sand. Uh, we don't tall I got. No, okay. Anybody else? We don't need an executive session. Yeah. Okay, then I guess we can adjourn. Yeah. Need a motion to adjourn? Yeah. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? 